Hello, people. We are live. Thank you all for coming by, one and all. Much appreciate it. Uh, no, we've had, actually, tomorrow, our rain sort of kind of skipped us a couple days, but tomorrow, there's a possibility we're going to hit a, a record high tomorrow for this time of the year for us. I think it's uh, mid, mid-high mid 80s tomorrow. That's a lot of, that's a lot of heat considering we were just uh, rainy and cool for most of the week. But I'll take whatever we get. What's up, Bat? We need a little bit of break from the rain, man. We've had so much rain lately. It's been crazy. I mean, I'll probably be wishing we had rain um, later on come summer, spring, late spring or something. But we've definitely had some rain here. Ground is wet. How's everybody doing? As y'all might figure it out from the... Um, from the uh, from the uh, posting of the live, eight oh five. What's up, Scotty? Eight oh five won't be here tonight. He was doing all that uh, waterlog almost. He was doing all that partying lot last night. He turned fifty years old, and uh, he's paying for it today. I saw him mixing all that booze up last night. I was like, oh lord, that is not going to make for a good tomorrow. That's uh, usually <laughs> Scotty. You need to tell him cut it out. Tommy called him fat again. BNC Guarding, hello and thank you. What's up, Mr. Simon? Don't Simon enjoy your life, buddy. You have um, going out in the night. Let's enjoy it, man. Damus. Scotty, I got a kick out of that, Scotty. It's about Tommy calling you fat. I guess you could always call him old. Man, it's so quiet in here. What's up, Christy? Without my radio on. God, I missed my radio already. Just been off 15 minutes. So, usual question, anybody cook anything this weekend? I just had, I was going to do a rotisserie chicken. And, man, doctors got me on these. What's up, Randy? Doctors got me on these um, damn uh, medications. And it's my fault. I skipped a day, missed a day. So, I took it back to back. And, man, I'm paying for it. I feel like crap. My back feels like it's ready to lock up on me. I was going to do a rotisserie chicken video today, and I just said, no. So put it in a crock pot. Actually, the wife put it in a crock pot and was able to make some pulled chicken from it. But that's it for me. No other cooking. I'm working too much lately. Damn. What's up, Mike? I just got an email from a flash from the past. If you excuse me just for a minute, please. Uh, don't ever do that with meds, illnesses. Yeah, no, it was. So they want me to take these this medication. And it's supposed they want you to take it every day, but there's a side effect to it. So I refused. I refused, at first I refused to take it at all. And then uh, my damn cholesterol keeps going up. So I said, well, maybe I need to take it every once in a while. So I'll take it like three times a week. And I skipped a couple of days. So I took it back to back um, 
Friday, or sorry, Thursday and Friday. No, Friday and Saturday. And uh, it has a tendency that it will, um, it'll, it'll mess with your back if you have a bad back. And man, I tell you what, I just about locked out, got locked up. I just laid around all day. Maritza's, Maritza's, yarning crafts. Hello, and thank you for coming in the chat. We'll read out loud, Lance. We all want to, to know but what the, the, uh, that's for my daughter. Did you find another Mexican? Uh, Simon went out tonight. And um, we put out, I got Boo and I put out uh, Russ. Russ is editing a video and I figured if anybody else wanted to chat in here or hop in, they would hop in. Otherwise, I'll go at it alone. Okay. I did say hello to Barbecue Mike, didn't I? I call him Barbecue Mike, just Mike. Maritza's. I've never heard that channel before. Well, thank you for coming in. Going to be a little bit on the boring side today because I'm the boring one out of the two of us, the gringo and the Mexican. The Mexican hit the uh, half a century mark this week. So he's been, um, he's been celebrating a little bit. To say the least. So it's kept caught up to him. He's got to hit work tomorrow. So he took a hall pass for today, tonight. Eric, what's up, buddy? So no one else cook anything this weekend? I didn't see Christy post anything since her, was it the subs or something she did the other day? So Randy pushed a couple pictures of uh, some uh, beef ribs. Those look good. Cooking on two grills. Man, that baby gotten that big at that already? Stories from your dinosaurs at your lard. No dinosaurs. Did have a. Uh, did used to eat uh, dinosaur chicken nuggets. Didn't like them. I don't say children eat them things. But speaking of uh, almost welding, did y'all see Loderman's video today? He's got his uh, dump trailer that he uses. For hauling, but he also hauls his uh, skid skid steer in it, and he cut the metal plates out of the bottom of it today, getting ready to uh, weld back in three sixteenth steel. Replace the floor in it. We got two porterhouses, one tomahawk steak, two burgers, five chicken or chicken breast and potatoes. Dad, gone. Uh, Randy, Ben, I appreciate it, but you don't have to, bro. I do appreciate it, but really, I mean, I know you've been working. What's up, Lep? I know you've been working a lot of hours, bro, and need your rest to get back and hit that, that schedule, that seven-day-a-week schedule. I totally understand. Totally understand. Cooked up a batch of crack rock. <laughs> Weepa. Uh it's Sunday family dinner. Okay. So your like folks come down? Eric, oh, I saw y'all uh skeet shooting the other day too. I saw that picture of y'all out in the I guess someone's property or skeet shooting range. That's pretty cool. I love skeet shooting. What's up, Al? Al Loon. Making burgers in the oven. 
So I actually worked yesterday. Uh, but part of it was just a lot of driving. This will make you all laugh or get a smile out of it. I took an Amish guy, probably about 120 some miles round trip, 150 miles round trip, just so he could pick up um, a uh, the pit boss ceramic Kamado, uh, 24 inch across. I tell you what, man, that thing's pretty nice. I like it. So I was talking to him. He's talking about cooking some hamburgers. I said, smoke them. He was like, it's all new to him. Smoke them. I said, yeah, smoke them. The shooting day was fun oh, many years ago. Okay. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I haven't been skeet shooting in probably a year. I enjoy it a lot. What's up, D-Chef? More messages coming in. Man. I don't know what that's all about. Skeet, skeet. Man, I love skeet shooting. I even went out and bought the Berettas for it just so I can get better. I had this thing called a shot cam that I would uh, uh, that would mount to the um, to the barrel, and it would actually it would recognize the the uh, recoil of pulling a trigger and would turn that camera on, and it would obviously follow your barrel, and I could see that way because I was having problem because my vision's not the best. Hey, Des. So I, that way I could see if I was behind it, if I was in front of it, you know, whatever I was doing wrong. But then you would come it down and uh, load it uh, onto your uh, laptop after you got home. And you could actually watch the video and see the video, see the skeet explode. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I mostly was behind it. I was always playing catch up. So after using that for about a month, I ended up selling it for exactly what I paid for the thing. So heck yeah. It worked great. It worked great. But they've actually got an upgraded one now that I it's probably a little bit better than what I have. I, the one I didn't like is that it just seemed like it took a little while um, to download. Good evening. Oh, the new barbecue trailer is now ready to go. What's up, Dutch? I saw your pictures yesterday. Look good. Did you put that checkerboard floor in there, or is that something you added? Oh, man. It came in it. Okay. That looks cool. Definitely should have some room in that thing now, though. I tell you, look like you have plenty of room in there. Unless you get some dead weights in there that are, what, what do they call it, shigging? You got to kick out the shiggers. The shigging people. Unless they're there to to help or teach you something. But dead weight's got to go. Eight and a half by 18. Yeah, that's plenty of room. Shoot. Message to you all. D says hello and says she's staying off YouTube for a while, but trying to pop in your lives from time to time. I saw her. AJC, what's up, AJ? I saw her, Des, was in Eddie's last night? What's up, Rob? Appreciate you coming by and checking out the video and leaving a comment for me the other day. All 
Okay. Well, hopefully we didn't offend her or anything. But we talked in the after hour. Okay. What's up, Googie? Guggen took on a big old project. He's trying to put a paver sidewalk in, man. That's a job, but it'll look good. Be rewarding when you get done. Yeah, she loves you all. It is other folks that are kicking her off. Okay. <laughs> So I need stickers. I have Randy's and Simon's. Oh, for your trailer. I was going to say, uh, just to let you know that, what's up, Keenan? That uh, Devil Dog's Keeper, Jamie's got a sale going on right now. Des probably be able to clarify it a little bit more. I think it's, don't quote me on this. I think it's $80. It's uh, however many stickers, like 200 stickers maybe. Des, help me out here. And then if you order it, you get uh, a free 15 ounce coffee mug uh, with your purchase. Brother Keenan, what's up? I saw that fried, deep fried lobster just before going live. I was like, man. Was that from your, uh, from where your son's working at now, Keenan? But Dutch, you're asking for people to send them to you. I was thinking uh, you were in the need of stickers at first when I read it. But it's a decent sale. Um, wait, I thought I was up higher than that. After all, your Lance, blah, blah, blah. Guggen, Smoke, Rob. Now she loves you all. Okay, now I'm caught back up. Sleeper. Christy. I've got one sticker, Dutcher. I would help you out. I've got one sticker of each. And that's the only case I need to have them made again. I haven't done anything with stickers for a while. Yep, after I got an estimate from the concrete guy, I bet you did. Although that that uh, stamped stained concrete, some good looking stuff. Two hundred stickers. Yeah, I thought I was. I got a sixty-five year old memory, but I was wasn't too bad. Sixty-five, sixty-five. So you order two hundred stickers, and you get a fifteen ounce uh, coffee mug, white coffee mug. And I assume that's with the logo of the stickers, Des. Spend all that money and get a picture of Eddie on my mug. Devil Dog. Good. Oh, 15 ounce mug free until this evening. Well, should you happen to call up Jamie or get in touch with Jamie... Make sure you tell her you heard it here from Miss Des. Spreading the word. My wife made it. Oh, is that right? That looked good, man. I got to say, though, that meal your boy brought out to you the other day. It was the four wheelers. Um, that was good. That chocolate thing, second to the last dish, I thought that was the dessert. And then he came out with the dessert, and I was like, oh, my God. Yes, I love that, too. The, the little girl and him doing that uh, that review, I got a kick out of that. Get her a little bit older, I think she might get a little sassy coming out of her. Like, that tasted terrible. Birthday boy is suffering from, 
I had too much. I drunk too much. When he was mixing that booze last night, I was like, oh, man, I can remember doing that. And that was my worst day after is when you start mixing all that stuff. Free shipping. Here's the info if you need to see it. $80 for 203-inch stickers and a 15-ounce mug with the purchase of the stickers this weekend only. There you go. Anybody in need for stickers? I don't know, George I, or uh, Dutch. I got an email or text from him probably about an hour, hour and a half before going live. I'll say an hour and saying he's not going to make it. So um, put together the, uh, the notification for the live show. And I thought like, well, how could I even expand on this hungover thing a little bit more and thought about an ice bag and hit up uh, Simon just as he was getting ready to go out. And um, he fixed up that thumbnail for me in about 10 minutes time. No kidding. You need a Mexican? I'll jump on. Al, if you want to, buddy. What's up? Goose. How's it going, buddy? Football's going well with you. Um, Al, let me send you the link. All right, I'm back. It's coming your way out, but you don't have to, buddy. There's Russ. What's up, Russ? Hey, hey. I'm taking a break from editing. I'm almost finished with it. I'm just having to do a closing on it. For it, the cooking it, or the DIY? It's it's a, a well, it's a review video, actually. It's that monument grill denali 605 pro yeah and they're expecting an eight minute video and man it's like i'm running out of i took all kind of footage i cooked three different things on it yesterday but i'm not focusing on the cook that much but uh i think i'm gonna get real close anyway it's all right i'm up to almost seven minutes now so if i can squeeze one more minute i'll be good <laughs> so it did work okay hey goose Charlie, if you will type uh, 805 in the chat, it'll post your link. This man, uh, air airbrushes, fishing lures, all different shapes and sizes. Does some great work. So I'm reflecting the colors and paint that he gets going, that he does. Make you want to get into it, but I'm too old. I got to stop all these hobbies. Hello, everyone. Send hello to me. Should have gone to Home Depot. A lot of Mexicans. <laughs> there, it's not. Uh, it's not there bad. There is. AJ sure was asking how do I like that grill. It, it's not bad. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a gaster type guy, but as far as gas grills go, I know one thing. The installation on it, man, was freaking precise. Everything fit right. really good on that. Yeah. It's, they got all that stuff dialed in with this CNC machines, computer generated and all that. They can they can get that stuff spot on nowadays. Yeah. 805, man. Don't push yourself, buddy. You got to get ready. Make sure you're ready to go to work. I'm still drunk. I'm sure you are. Don't worry about it. Russ just popped in. Al might hop on. Randy just got home. He may hop on in a bit. Um. Who's hung over, George? Yeah, he's had his, he turned a half a century the other day, and he had a party, went live a couple times that I saw. I had to go to bed early last night. I was, wasn't feeling the greatest. And um, yeah. he went live a couple different times, and, man, he was, he was enjoying himself at a party he had at his uh, grandma's house. And um, when I saw him mixing that booze. I was like, man. 
Yeah. That's an accident waiting to happen. Oh, Scotty, anybody else out there that said hello? I'm... Thank you, Christy. Yeah, I kind of dreaded even editing this video because it's all voiceover. Not all of it. Most of it is. Yeah. I just figured it'd be easy, easier just to shoot everything yesterday and uh, come back in here today and just kind of talk over it. <laughs> Scotty came in here earlier at the beginning of the chat. First thing he said was uh, Tommy called him fat again. You must be picking on Scotty. <laughs> Love this chat. No one, no, we ain't gonna call you. Might call you fluffy, but you're enjoying it, man. Just means you're cooking some good food and you're enjoying what you make. That's all. I ain't gonna call nobody fat because I ain't got no room to talk. <laughs> <laughs> What's, up, What's up, Al? How's it going, Lance and Russ? Pretty good, buddy. Pretty good. I'll be, I'll be right back. I have got to go visit the little boys room okay so how was your sunday there lance man this sunday wasn't too hot i took some medications i mean i was i'm they're subscribed to me it's not the what's abusing them but i when i take them like i'm supposed to i, I have side effects from them oh. and i missed a day so i took them two in a row i was taking them every other day so they wouldn't affect me Right. I missed a day, so I took them two days in a row. Man, I just, that was a huge mistake. All the side effects kicked in, but I yeah. am just big boom. There you go, Scotty. <laughs> MBL, what's up? Scotty, what's up? There you go. That'd be a good comeback, Scotty, next time Tommy says that. I say, I'm big boom, but younger than you. That'd be a good comeback. But I'm sure he's just teasing with you. So what you, Al, would you do this Sunday? Anything special? Cook anything? You know, I wanted to, but I took a nap and then I woke up. And, you know, I was, you know, it was a good nap, but I st somehow still feel lazy. And I was like. I don't want to cook anything, so we ended up getting some burgers at Whataburger. Is that right? Yeah. They were good, yeah, man. Yeah, we don't have any of those around here. Whataburgers or In-N-Outs, in and outs we don't have them around here. Yeah. But I... And, uh, uh, go ahead. I was setting up um, this mic. Uh, if I'm too hot, let me know... Uh, no, because I I don't know the levels of the mic. I'm kind of far away, but I think yeah, it sounds still... great. Thing is huge, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know if it works better without this thing or not. Is that does that sound the same or about the same? Uh, about the same, but I'm always thinking I like it better with it. All right, I'll put the condom back on. <laughs> it's the wind screen, huh? Or is it a pop screen? Pop screen, isn't it? Yeah, pop no. screen. It has the pop filter too, man. This is uh, uh one yeah, of my is. one of my Amazon uh sponsors send me a podcast kit. And yeah. uh we used to use on pop screens. Uh we used to have a really nice karaoke setup. I'm talking about huge bass speakers. We bought it piece at a time, but uh, for the uh microphones on a stand we bought a pop screen because that was always an issue that yeah was, yeah you know right. the 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 uh, s's and the p's that e yeah yeah that's yeah. what you need them for yeah, yeah nbl uh three this week man i was that's why i didn't go live man i was busy you got this Tuesday, or I can't remember the date I saw scheduled. Yeah, we're we're doing this Tuesday uh, from here on out uh, for the next probably four weeks because they're all sponsored. So we'll we're gonna have giveaways the next four weeks in a row. So just cut back the videos then, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's why I did release three videos this uh, week. Um, 
So I think uh, there's only two more that I need to get out of the way, but th those are sponsors that are lined up for after the next uh, four lives. So Pac-Man. What's that? Oh, yeah. Pac-Man. Pac -Man. Yeah, I see yeah. that. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm like Russ, man. I want to get back to uh, um, my other channel. There's some reviews that are outside of the barbecue world, and uh, I'm going to do reviews on different products uh, uh, on the other channel. So next week I'll probably bust out some videos on the other channel. Oh, is that all right? Yeah. What other channel you got, Al? I got uh, Al Lunacy reviews and, and articles. Uh, I started it uh, a couple months back. Uh, okay. I, I got a few reviews on there, but, uh, now that, that I'm getting stuff outside of the, uh, of the barbecue, you know, like outside of barbecue part products, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to review this, this, what I got in, <laughs> excuse me. So okay. that's going to be the next video. And this is basically, this these is basic. Are, these are say, review videos has a good potential, man, to get views. And yeah, I'm saying that I did a lot of them. I've done a lot of them Vivor product reviews, you know, just mm -hmm. stuff I was wanting. And, uh, yeah, I'll do a review, you know, right? It's hurt my channel, but I don't care. I want to, you know, but really it hasn't, man. It's like <laughs> I go back through my analytics and some of my best videos for last year was Vivor products, you know. So wow, like, yeah, outnumbering my cooking videos. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so that that's why I set up the other channel because I don't, I still want to do reviews, but like this this podcast thing, I, I could have, I mean, I can use it for my lives, and it, it comes with the interface, the mic, the boom, the boom stand, everything, man. It comes with two of them. It's really nice, but it's outside of the barbecue world, so I'm gonna do it on the other channel, and then I got a lot of these arcade stuff that I buy accessories for. And I'm going to do that on the other channel, too. And uh, I'm going to turn full-blown slut, man. I'm going to review anything and everything. I mean, yeah. of course, stuff that I, I want, just the way you were you were doing it, Russ. Like, if I want something, <laughs> I'll review it. Because I've gotten yeah. a lot of offers that I've turned down, man, lately. Um, I, I tell you what, to give you an example, I did that ice machine that time at Derek's uh, mm -hmm. a couple of years ago. Yeah, I don't want to guess. I'm on. I'm actually looking at it. Let me uh, find it in here. Yeah, here. It, no, that's the different ice machine. Let me go back one more. But that that darn video, man. Yeah, here it is. Fifty thousand, almost fifty-one thousand views. Wow, on the ice uh, machine. That is incredible, that. man. Because who would have yeah. known? that many people you know are looking at uh ice machine videos <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, and then uh this be a good time for one actually i got i did get an offer uh for an ice machine but i don't know much about them russ uh this one's just a it's like a it, it you can put it on a countertop uh i want to say it's like two and a half feet it it, it produces 100 pounds every 24 hours that's probably a nugget ice machine I've yeah. got one of those two I did a review for. And okay. I, now, this newest Vivor video has only gotten a little over, that's that warming oven. It's only gotten 3,600. But there was another one. That's still two. excellent, man. Yeah, this cold, that little <coughs> oil that where I pressed the oil out of those flax seeds, that video yeah. got almost 20,000 views. I'm like, what the heck? Well, you know, a lot of that, Russ, is the way you explained it, man. Who would have fucking thought you know yeah. there's machines that are out there doing what that what you explained you know and then this chamber vac that i did it's gotten thirty six thousand. i'm like what the heck man but yeah that's my point i've gotten more decent views off of videos like that and i have my own regular cooking videos yes yeah. so I'm i, I guess i was down. underestimating review videos but there's actual there's strength in that you know well, some of the items I, I was thinking of doing it the way uh, you've seen Chud, the way he does it, where he gives it like a 30-second 
or 45 second uh, review like this. Uh, this video is brought to you by so and so, and then in, uh, in the middle of the video, that's a sponsorship. That's not really a review video. He's just doing his little commercial slot for whoever right. sponsored that video. You know. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I thought about introducing an item like that. You know. Um, uh, that way, it'd still be a cook, uh, and I'd use the item throughout the whole cook. Right. But then I explain it in the middle of the video, so it won't be just only about that item. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know. Scotty's saying, I did a review on a battery-operated power wash I got for free. I got 3,000 views. Not bad, man. Awesome. Not bad. Uh yeah, DeWalt, if you're listening, send me that send me that battery. DeWalt, if you're listening, how about send me that uh, battery pack air compressor? Man, I used one of them Thursday, and I mean to tell you that thing is sweet. Sweet. Lightweight. What's up, Georgia? Georgia Ann? I, I want to get at least a 30 gallon uh compressor. Just one that you know, just the one that lays horizontal. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting a plasma arc to cut with, but I gotta have a compressor. And the only thing about it, I'll have to have like a filter on it to keep that air dry because the water condensation from the air compressor and those do not get along. Yeah, but that's down the road. I'm not worried about it yet. No, I took an um, I was putting in uh, running a um, what's up, Kenneth? I was yeah. running a, a pinner, putting in base trim around cabinets and baths and vanities all day Thursday, and it wasn't until the very end that I have to uh, put put the battery back in it to run it so it build up more pressure. That was what, so little, nice, man. Little What's pancake that? compressor. Little pancake compressor. Yep. Okay. Of course, it's so small and lightweight, no hose or cords on it. You know, you could have a little ten foot hose and carry it right in front of every door you're walking into or right behind you, however you want to do it. I think it was yeah. nice. Nice lightweight, but everything is now getting a battery option, like vacuum pumps for air conditioner. They got battery operated. You know, yeah. it's like, what the heck, man? I mean, I like that because you ain't got to search for an outlet or anything like that, especially if you're at somebody else's house, you know. So Scotty wants to know how that welder's working. Working good. I just got the 240 volts finally run. Uh, me and Karina was off Thursday, and I went. Uh, I don't know if I can find this picture or not because I used my phone yesterday, but it's in here. Here it is. Uh, the outer pipe is the new stuff I run to my meter base. The outer inch and a half dropping down and then from there it goes across my attic and then i dropped it down in the garage and i got my uh weld machine outlet already in and it's already plugged up but uh i ran it just to make sure i, I double checked everything but uh i went yesterday or thursday same day and i applied okay. this one this one welding supply I want to lease a 300 cubic foot bottle of argon. That's the biggest one they make. I don't want to buy the ones you buy are smaller bottles, like 80 cubic feet, 125 cubic feet. I want to 300. So I had to apply for, um, you had to send an application in, you know, to get approved at lease with them. And if I, if I get approved then I guess middle of the week, he said, they get back to me. I'm going to go over there. I had to get a buddy of mine to go with me with a truck and get that big bottle and I'll be ready to heal the art then TIG well. But uh All right. yeah, I've used it. I've used the new machine on stick well in the 718. Works great. Works as good as anything I've ever welded with. I think I saw something with that where you did um some type of uh welding with it. Yeah, I did but I don't know if you saw right. did you see last Sunday? When you said something about that argon bottle, and I think it's Anthony, something about he got where he got his bottle, bought it, didn't have to lease it. Do you see what yeah, his comment was? I can buy one, but those suckers aren't cheap, man. 
I thought this, he said a hundred bucks or something like that. Depends on what size you get. I can get uh, the same place. Well, you can even buy them on Amazon, but they're they're pricey, you know. And here's the thing: you could buy a brand new bottle, and if it's uh, if you take it to go, if you don't get it, order it filled, then you're gonna take it somewhere and get it filled. A lot of these places won't fill bottles unless it's their bottles. So. You know? And even if they do take it, the first thing they do is give you another tank that's already full, and they keep your brand new one. You know, right. I'm like, if I'm going to do that, I'm just going to lease, because I can lease that biggest bottle for $100 a year, and then when I need Argon, I have to buy it separately, which when I get it, it's going to be slap full. 300 cubic feet will last me for a while, you know, just tinkering around. Yeah, that sort of sucks. You buy a new bottle, they get to keep it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that sort of sucks. You know, I might be forced to buy one if they don't approve me. I don't know why they wouldn't. It's just a credit application is all the heck it was, you know. Yeah. Make sure you ain't going to make off of their bottle, I reckon. Don't Kyle, I, th I think I have a – each one of these games has about four games on each, each machine. So I have Defender – there uh it was one of my favorite games growing up in the 80s so i'd play defender do you buy them all operating or do you have to get them going no they're all operating uh they're they were all operating used to be you could get them around here uh but a lot of times they were broken or something like that and you'd have to find someone that could fix them yeah, those were the uh, ones that had the what 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 what's that called that cube TV CVT CV Yeah, so they have what they call uh jam jamma boards. So basically back in the 80s when you had a uh arcade machine, uh, the circuit and all that, the electronics are pretty much all the same. They would just switch the boards. So once they switch the board, it's a new game. You'd put the new decals, paint it on the outside, and then put the new marquee on the top with the light. So some of the games they had the same, they had the same uh, shell. They were just switching out the the uh, Jamma boards. Like uh, on, I only have one that runs on a Jamma board, and I think it's the Galaga. The Galaga has a Jamma board because it has sixty games, and I can switch out Jamma boards on that. So see that's that's one thing that uh, that I want to uh, touch light on on the other channel. You know, me reviewing different Gemma boards and stuff like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I had thought about shooting a video of running that two hundred forty volts, and I've changed my mind because too much sketchy shit going on there. But. Uh, <laughs> Hooking up the power itself. That meter base, the only way to cut the power to that to that meter panel or that panel right below it is to pull the meter. And that means the power company's got to come out and they won't put it back in there unless you had a licensed electrician doing the work on it. So right. I just around it myself, which was no big deal. Just got to be careful. Everything else is hot inside that box. You got to be careful not touching that, you know. I installed a 50 amp breaker, hooked that up. That man, I lucked out on that on that cable though. It's it's four gauge, rated for more than what I'm actually running. I'm only running a 50 amp circuit. That's just rated higher than that, at 65 minimum. But uh, my buddy said this is aluminum wire, and I said aluminum. He goes, yeah, I picked it up. I said I don't feel like aluminum. It's too heavy, and got to looking, and that stuff's been tinned. You can take a brush and brush it off, and that copper comes right through. I'm like, no, nah, man, that's copper. He goes, oh. So who told you it was aluminum? He goes, the electrician I got it from. I said, well, he don't know what he's talking about. You can even clip it and see the copper shining on the end. Definitely copper. But, well, uh, that's sort of a, a thing. If you're really into electronics or something, to actually tend the end, tend the, end the wires already, because when you go to solder them, you just touch them or whatever. Yeah, in your the case, reason they do it, the reason 
the reason they do it, and I'm not sure they do it anymore. You keep in mind that cable is probably from the 1940s, man. It's the same kind of cable that had that cloth outer, I don't want to call it insulation, but I guess it would be. And that's right. really my, my, my dad's house was wired with that same stuff. And that house is built around World War II. But this stuff come out of an old house. And I got to Googling it, you know, why, why does it look silver? And they said they tend that because copper can, can oxidize, you know, turn green and all that crap. They right. do that before they put the insulation to prevent that. And I'm like, huh, I'll be down. So that's, yeah. that explained the silver color, but aluminum wire didn't really hit the market in residential homes until like 70s. the mid sixties to the mid seventies. Then yeah. they got rid of it. They still run it out on the power lines. That's that's all that all right. is. All that's aluminum. Kyle Alexander, thank you, buddy. Much appreciate it. I just didn't want aluminum. No, this house, none of it's aluminum. I said I don't want to run fifty amp weld machine off aluminum. Luckily, it was copper, so it cost me zero dollars. So I lucked out there. What's up, Quint? Is it Quint? But uh, yep, there he is. What's up, Quint? Speaking of Quinn, I am going to the Iola car show this year. I already got the ticket. Oh, did you see the logo Lance did for the towels? He probably has not, does he? Just uh, I think he's been out of the country for weeks. And I don't know if I ever if I ever caught up and did a color sample of that one in the final or not. What's up, Troy? Troy V. Quint. Quentin. Scotty's gonna be at the car show, he says. Yeah, I did. I wasn't sure if I was going or not. And Jeff called me one morning. He says, "Got some information." So I got you a ticket like this. Right. What? He found one for two hundred and something dollars, man. I'm like, what? How in the world did you find a round trip that cheap? And I go looking. It's gonna cost me over nine hundred dollars. Anyway, it, I'm flying from here to Atlanta. To Wisconsin, then all the way back. I'm flying. Well, it's Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's got a pretty good drive to pick me up. Then coming back, I'm gonna fly from Milwaukee to Houston to here. So not bad. All right. Yeah. All that for two hundred, and I think tax and all is just a little over three hundred dollars. I'm like, dad, God, man, I didn't know you could even buy a ticket that cheap. Cause I've looked. I reckon when I went that first year, it was Fourth of July weekend is why it was so high you know and i guess i don't know yeah scotty says he's got a 15 hour layover in atlanta oh uh, he's talking, uh, he's about, talking about year last, last year he's talking about mine year before last but last year, no, yeah. actually everything's supposed to click pretty good but you never know how that's gonna work out until you've done it you know so we'll see there you go, Troy. Yeah, that was a that was a long night. Well, I thought wouldn't isn't Scotty in Wisconsin? Mm-hmm. He's north of Iola, I think. I'm not sure what part. I just know he's north of us where where we were at. He got a bit of travelocity. I mean, you know, I don't know. It's different airlines. I do know that it's multiple airlines. When I flipped there the first time, it was all, um, who was it? Delta or TWA, one of them. But that was the same company from start to finish, all the way back. Where are you going, Russ, again? 
the Iola Car Show this year in uh, July. Oh, okay. For the second and, time. And that's held where? Uh, Iola, Wisconsin. Yeah. Scotty lives in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, three hours north. Three hours north. That's not bad drive. Are you saying something about jargon? We set up in the car swap area or car meet area? Mm. Second Saturday of July. Yeah, I hope it works out too, Kyle. <laughs> I don't want them more than 20 hour layovers, 15 hour layovers. And I would like to get there and get home too. What's up, Uncle Steve? Jeff, you shoot, you shooting any uh, video for the channel there, Russ? Yeah, it's not like he did say something about that Quint. Yeah, I know. I remember Mike telling me that Shaq lives in his lives in his neighborhood or near his neighborhood. Yeah. Russ also to make sure you know how many suitcases you can have. I'm taking one on board like I had last time. It's big enough to hold enough clothes to last me the entire time. And I will be bringing my laptop too. And a big bottle of cologne. I'm not going to have no uh, <laughs> check bags. You going to shoot any video though, Russ, for the channel or anything? You're going to document it or? I did that show. last time and nobody was interested in watching it. So no, I will not be. Mm. I'm just going up there and having a good time. Sounds good. Yeah, that was actually a pretty yeah, decent video fun. that I did on that whole thing a couple of years ago. But, you know, ain't nobody worried about my trip to Iola. So. Yeah. I'm taking but a trip I, in, in June. I, I did it mainly just to remember by you know what i'm saying it's kind of like a photo album. oh yeah definitely all, all what we do man you know you got to think about it man when we're gone our families have a cooking diary of what, what we made man and and yeah. they'll remember they'll remember our expressions the little things we always said and yeah you know yeah. For, for however long youtube stays in business i reckon but yeah, I've got uh, I've got all my videos on drives too, though you know. So yeah, good to see Ron back in the chat. He's been missing for a while. I know he got some new equipment. Who? Rob cooking and barbecuing. He was in here earlier. Yeah, he's in here now. So I say it was good to see him okay. in the chat because he hadn't been around for a while. But I think I think he's getting ready to do a competition uh, sometime soon. Ron is. Yeah. Oh, Ron. <laughs> I thought I thought you said Rob. Uh, Rob from Rolling Smoke. Yeah, I think his is. Well, it's if it's not next weekend, it's a weekend after. I sort of kind of think it was the weekend after. We put out a couple of videos. I sent him some recipe ideas. He loves calls himself the uh, meatloaf king, and he does all every meatloaf he does does great. And uh, I sent him a, a, a recipe, a couple nice. recipes actually for uh, meatloaf, three of them. There you go. It's 20, the 27th. Yeah. That's a week after next. I think. Yep. Thinking, uh, talking about deadlines, man. I just got done with my taxes, man. Ching gao. It's, they're due tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah, the I don't know. We had a, a different account, and we haven't got nothing back from her yet. We're sort of kind of wife is freaked out more about it than i am but i guess they file for extension 
I'm curious yeah. to see what happens because this is the first full year that I've had retirement wages. So we're sort of kind of curious to see what happens with our taxes this year. Right. Man. We'd be poor. So I'm hopefully uh, Mother Nature, or not Mother Nature, but Big Brother IRS takes the easy on me. Yeah. Wong yeah. back. Oh, uh, okay. Kyle Cole thought you were Gary. Hey Russ, do you guys have a do you guys have that convenience store stripes up in nah. Mississippi? No? Oh, okay. Never seen one. Yeah, because they're running a great they're running a great special right now, man. On light beer, on every kind of beer, just about. Man, a really good special. I think we got one 7-Eleven over here, and most all the other ones are actually like gas companies, like uh, Marathon, Chevron, right. Works. That's a convenience store, also the C Mart. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, uh, Stripes is owned by 7-Eleven. So okay. when, so when you enter your loyalty points or the rewards that gives you the discount, it's a 7-Eleven uh, app. Uh, that you can scan uh, there, or you just enter your phone number. So basically, oh, you're you're basically getting less than a dollar a beer. Yeah. Uh, uh, for I like the been, premium, for like I the premium. By, yeah. I was gonna say I haven't been by that Seven Eleven in a long time. It might be renamed Stripe, as far as I know. But yeah. Well, if they ever. Do rename it Stripes. Uh, they have a little kitchen called the Laredo Taco Company that goes along with the Stripes name. Hmm. They make some pretty damn good breakfast tacos, I can tell you that much. <laughs> if they ever rename it Stripes, go check it out, man. The tacos are fucking awesome. Yeah. I got, I got I got reached out to the day by Vivor again. Really? Uh, yeah. And I'm like, because I hadn't planned on doing no, no more videos. But anyway, they sent me an email wanting to send me a slushy machine. No way. A dual, dual thing. I, anyway, I clicked on it, looked it up. The thing sells on their end set just to sell it like $899. I'm like, dang. That's kind of a high price one for Vivor, and you got, uh, you got a you got a lot of grandchildren, Russ. No, but let me finish. I'll tell you why <laughs> I wanted it. I got to, I told him. I said, "Look, I am completely out of counter space, which I am." And me and Trina's already been talking about me taking. I got a stainless steel table here with this freeze dryer. We're gonna put it. We just cleared off our dining room table. I'm fixing to bust it up and burn it. it it's really just piece of crap now we're gonna get this in there as soon as i get one of my sons over here to help me handle this freeze dryer and get that in the dining room but i told him i said can you send me a table that will fit it also and so they come in yesterday it's uh, a stainless steel rolled around table three foot long this one's like i think this one's 50 or 60 inches i don't forget and uh so it'll fit perfect right over in here but uh first thing i thought of is like first off it'd be perfect like if you got a family with birthday you know kids and all that having a lot of kids over yeah and i'm gonna use this in this video i said you know like my kids are in their 40s now and i'm 65 so i know what i'm gonna do with it i'm gonna make frozen mm -hmm. pina coladas margaritas yeah. hurricanes <laughs> it's gonna be a party <laughs> I've already I've already ordered the next from Margarita. Oh, man. that's fucking yeah, awesome, that's, man! I told him I have a video on the twenty fourth. Around the twenty fourth, so that's, that's gonna. Yeah, I try wouldn't to, plan on doing try, it. You know, try, try to get 
try to get a try to get a a, a song in there that it's like a spin-off of Margaritaville. That way you don't have to pay the the commercial fee for Margaritaville. You know what I mean? I've got a song that I used on that video I did, a tribute to Jimmy Buffett, and it's got yeah. the still drums and all. Oh, and okay. That way I didn't infringe on nothing, but it kind of has that vibe to it, like Buffett vibe, you know, without being Buffett music. Right, so I, right, right. You got I the music card. I, I doubt I saved it. That's badass. Quint's going to make Al Pastor tomorrow, man. That, hell yeah, yeah. Quint. So, uh, so you're going to actually do a video for that um, using the alcohol? Yeah. Is that right? Hey, Weiser <laughs> did a kegerator to serve beer. That's only for one thing. That's for beer. They yeah. don't have no, they, they're not going to have no problem with it. What's oh, up? and it was Okay, I didn't realize it was B. I didn't realize uh, the Vibor is that a Vibor kegerator thing too? It's Vibor, Vibor, it? yeah. It uh, I would pull up a face. It's nice looking, man. It's like, damn, look at this. It weighs a hundred and I think 130 pounds is what the weight of it is. Like, holy crap. I mean, it's got a compressor and everything in it. You can let it run 24-7. I've got each side a whole 30 liters, which is a little under four four gallons. So I'm going to do pina colada on this side, and I've got some hurricane mix coming for this side, and it's just going to sit there and run until it's empty. You know, yeah. might take me a few weeks to empty it, but we'll see how it goes. I love yeah. pina coladas, man. That's like one of my favorite uh, drinks, you know. That's good. That's going to be fucking badass, Russ. Yeah, that'd be sweet, especially the warm weather coming, you know. At first, I kind of laughed. I'm like, what in the world am I going to do with a slush machine? Then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I know exactly what I'll do with a slush machine. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I got one of them stainless steel tables also coming in. Uh, it's pretty nice, man. I can't wait to, to get it in. Yeah. Uh, it's a barbecue cart. So it has a cutting board and a, a, a paper towel rack or a roller. It's pretty nice, man. Uh, it's 20 by 42. So it's a little bit, uh, what is it? What's 42 inches? Or a, little, a little, like three and a half, three and a half uh, feet. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah, with the top, uh, the top is stainless steel. So it's pretty nice, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, that little table. She told me to pick out one and uh I went back to the very thing that shows that and there if you drop below on the slush machine right below it says often purchased with this machine, they showed a table that was burned. Oh. So I enlarged it, took a picture of it, you know, the screen capture and center of it. I said this one'll work three foot long. Badass. Okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Surprised they offered something that expensive because normally they try to get by cheap, man. Can we yeah, you, uh, can we interest you in a meat slicer that they sell for sixty dollars or eighty dollars? You know, no, yeah. I already got one. Yeah, no, I already got one. Yeah, you know, one of the things I've I don't know why I want it, man, but. I won't. I won't buy it until it's offered uh, free. But I want. I want either a hot dog machine, you know, with the rollers, and yeah. the, and the bun, yeah. and, uh, or or you know something along those lines, man. I don't know why, man. I guess every time I'd walk into a convenience store and I'd see them, and, and you see how they slowly cook on those rollers, and the grease is kind of just like it's like a rotisserie type thing sure. going on but with hot dogs you know i always thought yeah. that would be cool to own man I don't, I don't really need one but but it's just it's sort of like these fucking arcade machines you don't need an arcade machine but it's fun yeah. just having them there in back of you or like man i could just sit here drink beer and look at them you know what i mean yeah that's right scotty's saying i have a small hot dog roller i use for fundraisers works great. Yeah. That's badass, man. 
Yeah, that's pretty that, cool. See, that's a cool thing to have, just like with uh, a Russ with a slushy machine. You come to a party and you see that, and it's already gone. You got you got it full of hot dogs, and then you look, and they got a slushy machine that's making guinea colas and and margaritas. You're like, this is a fucking shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know, what, one of the first things I thought of was my youngest son. He got that house he just bought not far from me. And he's done had probably half a dozen parties since he's been living there. And mm -hmm. they all like to drink. I mean, they're in their 40s or whatever. I'm like, right. hey, he's going to ask me if he can pull that oh, over. I, party. I'm sure. But man, it's like, like I said, 130 pounds. It ain't going to be, I mean, it's not that heavy, but still. But you got to think of it. They're, they're also, Russ, like you put up, you put what they sell those buckets of, of margarita or pina colada mix. That they're yeah. just powder, and then no, you put this liquid. I ordered from the Margarita Man. Go to margaritaman.com, oh, okay. and he's got some pina colada with the what do they call it, Coco Lopez mm -hmm. stuff or whatever. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. It's got that in there and, and real 100% pineapple juice, and uh, and the hurricane mix is the same way. Everything he sells is a syrup. Okay. Half a gallon. It comes in a half a gallon. Then you got to add like two gallons of water. Then right. you got to add booze, which can be up to two liters. I'm like, two liters? Holy crap. That's a lot of rum, you know, or, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I've seen the powder version that comes in the bag. But mm -hmm. what I was getting to is that's about 10 bucks. Yeah. And then. You can buy a cheap ass fucking bottle of whatever rum. Oh, yeah, I just want to buy some white white rum. Just yeah, like, uh, uh, parties or something. What, what I was getting to is, if you want to get a shitload of people drunk on on the cheapest, yeah, cheapest low end uh, 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 bottles, man, it, it can happen, dude. And no one's gonna care because it's frozen drinks, dude. You know, it's yeah, I love uh, them, man. Oh, we used yeah. to buy that Bacardi uh, concentrate in the frozen section. It looks like those cans, like orange. Oh juice. yeah, 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 yeah. And you Bacardi, just, you yeah, it's concentrated. It's your concentrated in your uh, crushed yeah. ice in a blender. Man, I used to love them things. I hadn't oh, had yeah. one in a long time. Fixing to yeah. that. I even got some margarita glasses right up here, still brand new in a box. I'll use them on that video. It's not really a a pina colada glass. I don't have any hurricane glasses, but it'll have to work. Got to buy some clear plastic ones. Yeah. So that's going to be cool, man. That's going to be cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Whether it gets any views or not, I just want the darn thing, man. <laughs> oh, that's classic, man. <laughs> there goes that thumb again, Lance. <laughs> trying to send Jeff something here but just don't seem like he wants to cooperate that's right Quint absolutely this starting table right here it's so big and wide I might have to take at least two legs off this thing just to get it out of this room and then back oh, into the lit, uh, dining room and put them legs back on. Then we got to put this freeze dryer on it, vacuum sealer, mm -hmm. and the vacuum pump for the freeze dryer. A lot of Excuse weight, right? me for a minute, if y'all would, please. I'm trying to get Jeff a, a picture here. Uh, 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 uh. I'm pulling a lance now, man. I've been mm. up early. I didn't start editing to probably damn near 11. I was just dreading even getting started. I finally got into it, and I did it all the way up to the time I jumped on this love. Almost there. Hey, Jeff, check your email, buddy. I sent you the measurements of that apron. It's pretty big, but let me know if that doesn't help help you. Enjoy life and toys. 
Yeah, I apologize, Jeff. I took I over medicated myself last night and feeling it today it affects my back. And I got up and barely even walk, man. All I've been sitting is a hard back chair and up straight. Oh man, my back's been killing me the last few days. The damn statins, man. I hate them damn things. Hell, I've been doing something every day this week, man. Like I said, I finally got my 240 volts ran. It's hooked up. And uh, So who crawled in the attic? Derek did. He come did over it? here, man. He went up in there, and within 20 minutes, he had it drop through the fascia. He had a little bit of problem there because it, it goes down real skinny. He said his head was sticking up in the roof and nails. And I had to stick a broom handle up through there so where he could see about where to fish it over. Or it's right. over where the soffit is. Right. And finally, I said, I said, oh, ho, don't move. I got a little step ladder. I reached up there and grabbed it and I pulled out what I thought I would need. Yeah. And he took it to the other end. And then there, he didn't have to drop it through the soffit. I drilled a hole through the drywall right up against the two by four. And, uh, he just dropped it down to that hole right down the two by four where I mounted the uh, receptacle at, you know, Sorry. got that done. Yeah. Then I bought some more tools. I bought a uh, portable bandsaw and a Harbor Freight makes a Hercules brand. You can mount your bandsaw in there and use it like a chop saw, or you can take it back out of there and that thing will flip up and it'll be, you can use it like a stand-up bandsaw. It can do either or, you know. I so remember I they had something. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a mill, some mill work, something like that. It was something somewhere that it was a multitask, stationary multitask type thing where you could do several different things with the one piece of equipment. But yeah, I don't remember what name of that thing was anymore. It's been so long ago. I got it because uh, I've got all that steel out there that my buddy gave me that I want to start cutting out of 45 and this thing will spin out of 45 and uh, it'll be a little bit quieter than using a grinder and more accurate too, you know. What's up, George? Yeah. What's up? George, What's up man, you, didn't have, you didn't have to hop on. We got it covered. Yeah, I just wanted to come and say hi. What's up to all of you guys? All right. You got to hang around, huh? Oh, Pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. I'm feeling a lot better, though. Drinking plenty of water, I hope. No, nah, hardly any water. Just a little bit of soda. All right. Yeah. I, I had to take down the, the lives that I did yesterday, all three lives. I only caught two of them. I was probably in bed by midnight last night, something like that. I was in bed early. Yeah. What's up, Kanka, brother? I never even checked in on YouTube last night. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of dancing, a lot of uh, a lot. It was good. It was a good birthday party, you know. Yeah. I saw that booze mixing. I said, like, "Oh man, is he gonna feel that one?" Buzz ball, the freaking what was it? Um, fireball. A green one and a red one. Then, then towards I think the last one I saw, it was one of them, um, uh, one of them milky looking Mexican something drinks. Like, yeah, hey, you know, honestly, I don't remember blowing out the candles on my cake. Um, there's a lot of shit I don't remember. Yeah, I can't it's remember what that was. Ball, but it was good. You know, it was um, it was a good party. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. Yep. Well, happy birthday. Thank you once again. Thank you, man. For sure. I'm trying to think what that damn thing it was a Mexican something. And Rosie cracked the bottle. It was like a creamy, thick drink. And I was like, oh, man. No. Oh, yes. I know what you, you know what? They were on the tables. You're right. Oh, oh, I don't know what it was. Yeah, I know oh, what you're talking about. Not that on top of that <laughs> other stuff. I said, oh, shit. Oh, that's something else I want to buy is that same company's got a mudslide mix that you make frozen. Yeah, it was like a mudslide thing, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what man. this thing was like, yeah. I love mudslides. 
Yeah, it was good, guys. It was. Um, Let me see if I have um, pictures I can share. I don't know if I do. Like I said, I was fucked up out of my mind yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I got no pictures. Nope. Hey, you need some hair of the dog that bit you, man. Make you feel better. Yeah. I do got a, a picture or a thing of my um, my brother-in-law trying to smoke smoke my vape. Look hard. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was trying to vape, and it just wasn't working for him. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was well. You guys got to see most of it on the live, right? Yeah, well, I saw. I know there was a third live. The third I live saw. was crazy. That, that was right? got four hundred views. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I was like, damn, who's watching this? I woke up this morning. I was like, eh, I probably had like 20, 30, you know, views or whatever. <sighs> I was like, oh shit, I'm taking this down quick, you know. <laughs> Because it got the views? Huh? You took it down because it was getting views? It was rated R, bro. I had to take it down. Uh, there was a lot of rated R shit going on. Okay. <laughs> I was afraid that YouTube was going to uh, take my... It was a lot of kissing. You know? But I was afraid that YouTube was going to take my channel away from me, from me you know? So, What's up, Skinner Farms? What's up, big dog? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, nice time. Last. you know, it was hard to keep up on the on the chat, you know, because I was so freaking. Yeah, shit. I was well, trying I think, to read the chat, but I think the first time you couldn't see it. Yeah, the first time I was a little bit sober. Second time I was a little hammered. Third time I was out of it, completely out of it. I don't remember. I don't. I got behind the wheel. I don't remember that either. I just drove around the block, but still, you know. Oh, uh, that had to be the third one. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah, the third one. I was like. Yeah, I would. I would yank that one down too. <clears throat> a lot of fun. I got a kick out of your grandma. I wouldn't say TDO. She thought it was something bad. Oh, that, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I was like, say yeah. CDO. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, she's like, no. <laughs> I forgot I about that. that one. Yeah, it was uh, it was an awesome time, to be honest with you. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kyle. I appreciate that, bro. You just got back in the country. George was shooting the skeet last night. I was. What's up, Randy? I was trying, yeah, I was, I was doing, uh, telling my grandma, I was my mom, right? Oh, I told my mom to say you with the Randy. Yeah, I was, I was freaking hammered last night. I might call in tomorrow, too. It's all right. So what was the dude making, uh, was that street corn? Oh, yeah, my, my daughter hired a Lotero, which is a street corn, churros. I mean, he had everything. I should, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I filmed a little bit, right? What he was doing. Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah it, it was. It was good. awesome. Yeah, it looked real good. Yeah, he. Good. I had an esquite from him. Um, I wanted churros, but I was just like I said, I was so drunk. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then we had that famous uh, DJ DJ Wicked. He was good. My brother was good too. I got some. What well, got special sex? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Guggen. Yeah, it was great. It was um, it was a lot of beer. I mean, people kept bringing cases and cases and cases, and I said, "That's all right. We'll we'll suck them up next week." You know, finish them off. Yeah. Parties I used to have them cheap bastards to take the beer back. Nope. There was a lot of beer. Someone bought me a bottle. I don't know what it, I didn't I didn't want to crack it open because I would have been sicker than a dog than I am now. Yeah. yeah. So those bottles, round bottles, it was just like a pre-mixed booze. The what? The round oh. bottles. Yeah. So, so you didn't add to it. They were already like that. They were already pre-mixed. I'm assuming, yeah. 
I think Rosie gave me one, right? Is that what happened? I don't uh, remember. Your daughter was passing around first off the red one. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the buzz balls. Yeah. Buzz balls. Yeah. Then the green one. Came out. Huh? It has 15% alcohol. 15%. There you go. Oh, yeah, you know what? And it tastes so good. It tastes like a lemonade almost, you know? Almost like a lot Mike's Hard Lemonade or something like that. It was good. It was good. It was easy to drink. But when they hit you, man, they hit you. Those balls are wine. Oh, they're wine. I didn't know that. Sorry. They're freaking good. Yeah, I haven't really ate. I just ate right now some tosas de camarón. But my daughter did bring us uh, breakfast in the morning. I barely ate that. Yeah. It was a long it's good night. night. You just don't feel like it, but. I always chug the water down. You know, I actually, a uh, buddy of mine's wife told me that, you know, when you were drinking it, before you go to bed to drink as much water, not as much water as you can, but to get at least, you know, a big tall glass of water in it or more if you could. And I tell you what, man, that stuff, it did help. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was hurting. I'm still hurting. But anyways, I just wanted to stop by, say what's up to you guys. I love you guys. Bye, and- right, man. I'm going to bed, man. All right, bro. Us, Luna. Rest Luna, up, brother. Step brother. The other Mexican stepped in. What happened to Simon? Uh, he went out uh, Went out to a, I don't know if it was a bar or what, but he went out. I know he, he, he might come back in or come in here later after he yeah. gets home. Oh, did you see the thumbnail? Um, no. The check the thumbnail out, dude. Let me check this. Uh, let me check the thumbnail. Oh shit! You know it, it goes live real quick. Uh, uh, El Gringo, nah, it doesn't go. El Gringo on the Mexican. Oh, what's on my um, um What is that? The ice pack. An ice pack. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta kick out of that one. Yeah, no, I drank and drank. I kid you not, I probably drank. Probably in an 18 pack of Modelos. I drank 18 pack and then all those buzz balls. And then I had a bunch of shooters, those fireball shooters. I had quite a bit of those. And then I only one time. So I ain't no light, Fire, right? Yeah. yeah. That fireball tear you up, man. I totally, oh, I never again will ever drink that shit. Never, never. I won't drink it again, man. I'm telling you, the last time I had it, I got hurt so bad, I've never touched it again. I'm not a drinker anyways, you know, unless I'm here on, on YouTube with you guys, you know, I don't mind sucking them up, but either way, it was good. It was a good time, you know, I'll see you guys next Sunday. You guys take care. Later, guys. All right, bro. Yeah. Later. Love you guys. Later. Right. Take care. There's that slush machine. Lance. Hold up, uh, Russ. My daughter just sent me a oh, okay. A question. Make Georgia pina colada. That's oh, yeah. One. That looks good. Yeah. I just noticed when I went to it, they got another one that's uh, even bigger than that. That one's big enough, though. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Bigger the machine, the more you gotta clean it, right? Or longer it takes yeah. to clean. Yeah, Let's it's not. It running. It's something I, we we would just use every now and then. You know, I'm gonna make two batches and until it's gone, clean it up real good. It'll sit there to the next time. You know. How do you? Um, yeah. <laughs> Quint knows part of that story about me and Fireball. Um, what? How long would that stuff last in there? I mean, until you turn it off, or I mean, does it start uh, to break down? It'll, and it'll, it'll keep it frozen and turning the entire time. You know, nothing. I don't think there's nothing in it that can go bad as long as it's frozen. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it's got real coconut and stuff like that in that pina colada mix, but it ain't gonna last that long. I promise you. I'll have my sons yeah. over here too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
No, I was just wondering if there was, you know, if there was some idea of how long it would stay frozen in the machine, but before yeah, it was time to dump it out and re and add something. Uh, I don't know. I ain't gonna have that issue. Yeah. Between the hurricane. Now, when I actually use it after the video, I'll probably just do one half of it. You can you can do them individually, you know. Like if we want like the mud slide, just order some of that, make mud slides. What what go what goes into making a hurricane? I mean, I've only had a hurricane a couple of times. Well, this I ordered of, the mix, and it's just going to be rum and water what's up, added Anthony? to that mix. But okay, I, I've yeah. had real hurricanes down there out of the New Orleans French Quarter, you know. Yeah, Pat O'Brien's. Yeah, Pat yeah. O'Brien's. I used to have a bunch of them glasses too. I don't yes. Know what yeah. Same here. I still got some, man. Uh, shit, man. I it, it, they were fucking good. Yeah. I might have to go pick up at Walmart or something some hurricane glasses if they got them just for this video. Something Yeah. Cheap. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah, yeah, some watermelon drinks or something like that. Mm. Watermelon yeah, check it out. It's called margaritaman.com. He's got a bunch of different flavors on there. But you can do them with a blender too. The same he's got the recipe for slushy machines. Then he gives you a recipe just to use a blender for like smaller uh portions or whatever you know using the same mix that's cool yeah yeah i was kind of wanting to do a few other videos but i just want to put them off a little bit longer i reckon what diy Oh, I've got that coming. Hopefully, by the end of the week, I can do some of that. I've got some videos I could shoot, but I'm wanting to do a review on this uh, well machine I just bought and then actually do some things on camera, you know. And then uh, after that, I want to do some preventive maintenance, like on my condensing unit and things like that that I do annually. Just show how I do it. Who knows? That's going to be easy to figure out stuff for that. Well, Hurricanes just says got to kick off the patio for him. I did that one on that golf cart last, and that just fell in my lap. My buddy's like, I got a golf cart. It's got brand new batteries in it, or or new batteries, the way he put it. He goes, but my charger won't won't charge when I hook up to it. He goes, but I use that charger on my paw-in-law's golf cart and it goes right to charging so i did a little investigating and uh you gotta have voltage left in them batteries in order for the charger to turn on it's got the sense dc voltage before it even kick on so if you run them batteries completely dead it ain't gonna never charge that's all that was about because uh just like him he he thought he had a sure enough problem and he didn't other than he had dead batteries you leave the ignition switch on the thing it's steadily draining i told him i said you got a switch on the back when you flip the lid up it's a maintenance switch you're supposed to flip it to that anytime you do any work on it it takes everything off the line for the bass so if it's me i would get in the habit of flipping that switch off if you know you're going to not use it for a while that way you ain't got anything draining on it that you might not know about you know Put the switch on and have at it Uh, he's going out of town or something and wanted that thing to haul up there. But anyway, he brought it. I wish she are make a little short video on it. Why not? Anything goes on that channel. Yeah. 2 3 a.m. comes fat. Yeah, it does. It's growing. I mean, it's slow, but it's growing. I, I think I'm close to, uh, let me look and see. On my dashboard. Count. Damn. I like one from having 500 subscribers. Really? Yep, I got 499. Damn, that is doing good. I think you're three-something when I saw last. Yeah, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Oh, sorry. I was just showing you. Yep. That's nice. I'll get it there little by little. Yep. Slowly I turn. Step by step. I watch my buddy a bomb man with uh a bomb 79 doing that machine work that guy gets ungodly views it's just like when i first noticed that years ago i i never would have thought things like that would have been very popular on youtube but they are just the opposite from what i would have thought you know a lot of mm -hmm. people in that stuff Oh, you need to put 805 in the, uh, oh, you'd have to sign in on a different a different channel name, though. I didn't know you had another channel. I thought you were, I know you were talking about one. And I think when you went on vacation, um, not all that terrible long ago, I think you did a food review or something. What, or am I wrong? No, you're right. Uh, I did do a food review on there. And I'm I'm fixing to to head out in in June, and uh, doing the West Coast thing in Vegas. So I'll 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 do more reviews out there. So we'll see. But for right now, it, it's going to be these uh, these things I'm getting in that are outside of the barbecue. Uh, Wrong. So, what's the giveaway for this Tuesday? You were saying it's a couple of uh, it's a set of kitchen knives uh, from Pile. Uh, they only sent me one, so that's the one I'm giving away. I think uh, I put some pictures up for the membership, and then tomorrow I'll put some up for the rest of the. Uh, they're pretty nice. Let me see if I can show a picture here. I've seen them candy bars, Quint. Seen them somewhere one day. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I guess it's like, uh, let's see here. Do I lower the. There you go. Yeah. So there's a set of two. Oh shit. Let me go back. Uh, there's a nice looking. Who yeah. Makes no, they're like a Chinese brand. Uh oh. Uh, but uh they didn't require me to do a, a review or anything, so I haven't um uh, okay. they're called they're called pile uh pile plies 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 they're okay i mean i guess it's always handy to have extra knives that you can throw down in the kitchen and yeah. uh or um, i know Dow strong are made in china too so you know yeah they are yeah they are uh and the uh, the Dow strong i'll be giving away on the 30th and then before that it's the brush and the fire starters yeah so yeah um the Dalstrongs are very nice, man. Um, the, the rest of the stuff I'm getting away, they sent me two sets of two. Yeah, I love my Dalstrong. I mean, there's, you know, I can't be lying if I said I couldn't find something wrong with them, but I mean, nothing I want to replace them with. I mean, I'm happy with them. I wouldn't go out and buy something new or different because of anything, but yeah, you know, I've, got, I've got a fair amount of them. I usually buy them every Black Friday, I treat myself to one or two. They, are they discounted really well uh, during Black Friday? Amazon, yeah, you get that that Amazon oh. Black Friday deals. Hold up, Russ. Oh wow! Yeah. That's what's, the the I, what's the handle? What's the handle look like? I, that's the only one I kept. Well, here's the other. So. Yeah, a Quantum series. Yeah. yeah. That is that one that I kept. The rest of them I gave to Derek. But I are those that. like a, a slicer? 
Yeah, so I kept it because it's the only slicer I got that long, you know. Yeah. It's a pretty one, man. I tried to slice that brisket with it. We no slice in that thing. That was that was chopped brisket only, man. That was one tender brisket. Mm. Oh, tender. your last uh, video. It wasn't too tender to eat. It was too tender to slice. It just couldn't slice. It was coming apart, you know. I'm baby bag stuffed and lethargic. I'm yeah. baby bag stuffed and lethargic master. Yeah. Peas and carrots is like peas and carrots. Oh, your chopped brisket video you're talking about? Yeah, I tried to use that knife. I was on to try to cut a slice out of it. And it took me about a second to realize that wasn't going to happen. That right. warming oven, man, it took it over the top. I should have never left it that long. I should have just rested it like I would normally rest one. But you got to plan for it, I guess, ahead of time. You know, like if you know you're going to hold it for 12 to 14 hours, don't get it quite where you want it. Slack off a little bit, then take it out. That would take just doing it a few times to kind of figure out where to pull it, you know. So Trina made it back and forth during that tornado. All right, huh? She had no debris to dodge on the roads. Russ? I'm sorry, what? Trina. I said she uh, made it back and forth from work that day during it. The- oh, yeah. Yeah. It was raining, but it hadn't. the bad stuff hadn't got here yet. She was at work when that came in. and But that stuff blew through here fast. I was watching Ryan Hall on YouTube through the whole thing. And I ended up, I heard on that, on his channel that uh, the app he uses on his show is called uh, Radar Omega. It costs eight ninety nine, but that's the one I ended up getting it on my phone. Paid eight ninety nine. It's just a lot better app for weather. What was cool on his video, I'm sitting there watching it. He's got all these storm chasers uh chasing a storm and when i pulled up the map i could see them on here you could click on each person as they were popping up or whatever and it would tell you who they were and where they're at right, man that's cool that's that daggone breaker buzzing beeping i never heard that i don't know what all them white dots are Oh, that's just cities. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. Pretty cool out. That's what it was. What? What was it? I thought it was a damn breaker over there buzzing on the wall right beside me. But it's a little space heater I just hit, bumped, and turned it on. It was letting mm-hmm. me know I turned it on. Electric. Huh? Electric. Space yeah. Heater. Yeah, just something I put on when it, it gets really cold in here. We've been having spring weather around here. Cool mornings, warm days. Perfect, man. Blue skies. Won't last long though. By next month, it's gonna start getting hot. Yeah, we got. Um, they're saying we could hit record highs tomorrow already. Been fifty and thirties in the evening. A couple days last week, and we got some couple warmer days. Tomorrow, I just saw a thing where they're saying that we could hit record highs for this time of year tomorrow. Huh? Crazy weather. Yeah. For real. Yep, yep. So what's on the video pipeline there, Lance, for you? <coughs> that 
I was going to do um, uh, on nights when Lance isn't on. He snuggles the wheels. I was going to go. Hey, Sheena. I miss Sheena coming in. I was going to do a rotisserie chicken uh, today, but mm. I, I said earlier, I just, I had those statins, man. They really messed me up big time today. Yeah. And all I've been doing is sitting in a hard chair, hard back chair. There you go. Mm-mm. You say rotisserie chicken? There you go. Oh, yeah. That's uh, what you made on the, on the, the monument? Yeah, that's one I was looking for a video where it's a little bit more done than that. Hey, Sheena. Yeah, I was going to do it, and I ended up, the wife was, uh, had a sl- uh, crock pot going when she got finished. I just do it in a crock pot, just something so I have something on my stomach later on. Right. Yeah, I did hey. three things on that monument grill. I did the German bratwurst, the rotisserie chicken, then I did two ribeye steaks on it. All hey. does, does the rotisserie bar come with it? Yeah, um, yeah, rotisserie comes with it. Uh, cover comes with it. They sent me a, a cast iron that's got a multi use grate. It's cast iron porcelain. Oh, yeah, yeah, grate. yeah. It's got that round piece you can take out. And they sent oh, me a cast iron. Yeah. Plate. It's slick oh, on one side, you flip it over. It's got like grates in it. They also got one that's diamond cut. You put in there, and they yeah. also got a pizza stone you can put right there. Did they you make know. anything on that there, Russ? Huh? Did you make anything on that? No, not yet. I'm trying to keep it very clean. I did the bratwurst, which did not make a mess. The rotisserie chicken, I had a pan under it. The right. uh, steaks it had a few little pieces of char hit it. I can take a whip back and suck that out of there. I'm keeping right. it clean so I can turn around and sell that thing. Right, right, right. Well, I only so got what, one guest that, grill. That was your that that was your commitment. Three videos from him. Is that what you're saying? For Russ? Me? Yeah. No. One video. One video. It's not about to cook, and I just throw. You know how Jeff is always throwing this shot and this shot and this shot of cooking different things on the same grill. It's like that. Right. I'm kind right. of taking the route on that. Showing the, ver- the showing the versatility of the the grill. Right. That's all I'm showing. It's all about right. the grill. I do I do show the cook and talk a little bit about it, but not much. You know, yeah. mainly trying to get my full eight minutes of video out or close to it. If I end up with seven and a half, they probably won't say nothing, you know. Well, it's a good looking grill, man. I mean, I'm sure you're not gonna have trouble selling it, man. No, I shouldn't. It cost eight ninety nine, what nine hundred, I figure. Cooked on it one time, I'll turn around and sell it for five or six hundred dollars. Yeah. Good deal, man. I'm not gonna sell it right away. I'm gonna wait and see if they want me to do anything else with it, which I doubt they do because nobody wants to pull out and do a video with a dirty pit when you're doing a review. It's probably just a one shot thing. So I'll turn around and and sell it at some point. I just don't have the room for that pit. My this thing's big, man. From Is that right. Yeah, from that sear burner, you got your control over here. It, it's pretty freaking wide. I'm like, holy crap. You know, gas grills are so convenient, though, man. It's no waiting, man. You just turn them on, and, and you season your meat while, you know, they're heating up. It just yeah. takes minutes. Oh, I ain't got um, no problem with them whatsoever. And I what think I already I, put the cover on it, just leave it outside is what I should do and just hang on to it. You but, know, that uh, griddle... You know that griddle. I mean, if you look at most steakhouses, Russ, yeah, they're all cooking on propane, and oh, yeah. and uh, and uh, and Excuse and me. they have they have a, a griddle side, and then they have the the propane side. They get the they get the grill marks on on the you know the grill side, and then mm-hmm. they finish it up browning it up on the on the the, the griddle side. Uh, yeah, and I tell you one thing, man. Like uh, for chicken breast. Or thighs, you get an even crust on chicken, man, uh, uh, with propane, you know, on the griddle side, man. It's I tell you what, we had, we had them two ribeyes. That chicken is still whole. We put it in the refrigerator to make chicken sandwiches out of or whatever mm-hmm. during the week. But them two ribeyes we ate for supper, man, they were good. You know, it's like, Fuck dang, yeah, man. Had that yeah, yeah, I, 
taste, man. A little, little charred bits here and there. Like, hell yeah. I devoured mine. She I love, I love making steak on, on my propane. I got a uh, Weber propane. I gave yeah. away my, I gave away my monument uh, propane to my sister and my brother in law. That's a good looking gas grill that uh, Guggen AJ's got that Viking. Oh, yeah. shit. Man. Those are expensive. High dollar one. Yeah. Speak of the devil. There he is. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, we were yeah, just I'm talking about it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, good. One. Was that? I watched it a few days ago. That Viking grill, his? Yeah. I can't remember what he was cooking now. It was just like three or four days ago. But that's why I noticed the, the, the Viking grill. I'm like, dang, that's, that looks like a high dollar gas over there. Oh, yeah. It was a lot of money when it was new, but not when you yeah. find it on Facebook Marketplace for 150 bucks. Really? Dang. Yeah. Nice. Those other grills, uh, propane grills that are nice are uh, Napoleon. Is that what they're called? Napoleon? Yeah. yeah. I had one of them when they first time I ever heard of, and they sent me one of those and their kettle grill years ago. Yeah, they're nice. I, I, I like those. That grill for a little while, and finally one day, Tarina kept using it to do burgers with and all that. Man, that sound! I know that bottom is just nasty. So I <laughs> took that, I slid that drip pan out of there. I cleaned it real good, cleaned everything, and. I think I put it on either Craigslist or Marketplace. One of it's probably Craigslist back then, and I found somebody that wanted it, so he come got it, paid me for it. Nice. It but they had them lighted knobs and stuff, kind of like the monument, you know. But it's like I didn't even use them because it's daylight. You couldn't have see them out in the daylight. Matter of fact, today I went out in the garage where it was dark, and I took some footage with my iphone just showing the lights and the colors they are depending on where you have it set that's more gimmicky than anything though yeah, yeah but but they're cool it looks cool yeah it looks yeah cool. yeah definitely Steve, your name for me i've never uh seen you in the chat if you want to type in 805 steve it'll uh give a link to your channel people go over and check your channel out but yeah, I use my uh, my gasser all the time through the throughout the week. Just easy. Same here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Same um, here, uh, Google. I know people that, hate on them, but to me, it's no different than a pellet grill. You're just getting convenience. Uh, no. Damn it. But I'll tell you one thing, man. You can't get those little char bits on a fucking pellet grill the way you do on a propane. Yeah, unless you get a pit boss and it catches on fire. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it, it's a good tool. I mean, you know, I, I'd rather be cooking on my offset or Santa Maria, but you know, that obviously wanna... is not a very good. That's that's where the red lights, and everything on high. I did that this morning. That one, it was white. Your burner's not on. High's red. Is that the the infrared? Uh, uh, yeah, that's here. That's a fucking oh. bad acid. We yeah, heard the, Troy. The, the cheer, the the sear, uh, the charred end uh, that you get off that sear, uh, sear man, it's really really good, man. The fat, like a ribeye stuff. fat, like the ribeye fat, man. When you sear that shit on that infrared it's sear, good. man, it's. Just, I, I enjoyed that part of it. I, I got a, I got a, I got a. When I, when I, when I eat the fat off a of ribeye, I got to do it like sideways because my wife sees me eating that shit. Because when you're younger, man, you could do that shit and get away with it. But my wife sees me eat that fat because it's so fucking delicious, man. She's like, spit it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love to use fire coats with my gas or oh wait, I don't have a, I own a gas or that's the reason why that Amish guy, we drove up there to pick up that uh, that Kamado because that guy, he just didn't have patience for slow cooks. He fires up his gasser. Yeah, but just what Guggen was saying. Uh, Take care. Uh, uh, kid. Thank you. Oh, the Troy gas grills and they do anything else. That, that yeah, that's is, the uh, number one seller, yeah. Yeah, just what Guggen was saying, man. During the weekdays, man, where you're just pressed for time, 
You come yeah. home and you're like, fuck, man. Uh, do you really want to light a chimney of, of, of charcoal and then wait? Or, or you know, no, man, the, the propane is so convenient. Yeah. I, one side of me kind of wants to keep it if, if for nothing else. Those those charred steaks, rolls, dude. Steaks, yeah, the steaks, man. It, man. It's like, holy crap. Yeah. And you fajitas. Got, fajitas. I mean, real thick true, you got to do a reverse sear. But these were like five-eighths to three-quarter ribeyes, oh, like oh, you yeah. typically find in a regular supermarket. And uh, they did fine. And seared, seared. I think I flipped them twice. They were right on point. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. And that's why I kept my uh, – I still have my Weber uh, uh, propane, man. Uh, I gave away most of my other propane stuff. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. was that Weber that uh, Reicher was putting together I saw? Oh, uh, I don't know. He, he posted something in this. I just caught a glimpse of it. I didn't. I really I didn't even come out here at all. I didn't even turn on the computer to probably four o'clock. Oh, yeah. 14. He was spending some stuff through here last night, and he said the fire pot was shit on it. Dear Lord, that's right. You're starting running back for the football team as many times as you drop that element. <laughs> no, this step is we gotta put the there, see, fumble again. Right? He's got some short shorts on him. <laughs> Sorry, that's the only thing I noticed out of the video. I think that's the one he's working on. Some sort yeah. of web. Sure would, uh, choice that's sure would. Anyway, I don't know what all he's doing there. I'm going to yeah, buy a Anthony, Hanson gas or sell it at the trade show. It's the only gas for the company will prove me to buy. Uh, I've never yeah, seen those. They're, nice. they're, they're like the Heston, the Heston gasters. Let me. Yeah, they're like 10 grand. Holy shit, man. I mean, Viking links, they're all up there. They're like five, 5,000 up. Yeah, I bet. I got a Viking. Um, it's a, uh, it's got, what all is that? Oh, it's a pasta pot. But it's it's also got a steamer pot on the top of it. I paid a lot just for that, man. Yeah, these these high end uh, propane grills. I guess they go into like a lot of the custom outdoor kitchens, you know, at these mansions. I, I don't know how else. Who else is buying them? Right. Mike, they make these big commercial ovens and stoves, you know, stove tops and all for mm -hmm. like restaurants, all commercial stuff. You know, but. All those people, man. Uh, I'm sure. I mean, there's this, there's this guy I know on. on there's like several uh, people from China that have friended me in, in in Facebook, and they're like, "You guys, we can put your name on this grill. I've made grill. I've made this grill for so and so, and they're not fucking. They're not cheap grills, dude. They're fucking well made." They have these grill, uh, they have these, like a Santa Maria that has these, like, uh, gear-looking type, uh, mm. you know, that has those rivets. It looks really, really nice, man. They're selling mm -hmm. them for 500 bucks. You can turn around and sell that one for, like, 1500 bucks. It's a beautiful thing, man. But I can't do it. He says, I'll send you two. You can buy two wholesale, and then we'll put your name on it, man. But I can't do that because my job right now. I can't be involved in trade. But I'll man, be honest they're, with you. I they're very high. They, even though a lot of this stuff comes out of China, I still don't see how they sell some of the stuff as cheap as they do. Getting back to yeah, people, man. I mean, it's still stainless steel, and some of that stuff is pretty good quality, like this sausage stuff I got. Man, I have yet to find anything to gripe about on that. And then you get the thing about motors and motor windings. Well, they tell you right there on their literature, it's all copper windings. You know, you can't go wrong with that either. So, I'm yeah, I'm wondering. Bad. I'm wondering if they're even making money right now. If they're just trying to push out the competition. I don't but, know. Look, let me see if I can show you some of the stuff they sent me, dude. I mean, I'm talking high end shit, man. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you hear so much stuff about China. I would think that they're probably still making money. 
to me, it's almost like a Chinese version of a Harbor Freight. But really, if you think about Harbor Freight, just about everything in that store comes out of China, too. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. So, well, I think Harbor Freight's really putting a hurt into Snap On and Mac Tools, though. Well, they are. I've been buying my share of, of Harbor Freight stuff because I don't have to have something that has to have daily abuse or whatever. It's just. Like around here it's good enough for that it's plenty good enough for what i'm gonna use it for you know well they got their higher end brand too i think it's called icon at yeah, Harbor Freight, they, and it's comparable to a lot of that stuff they got good best and better you know when you walk in mm -hmm. there regardless what you buy they got like three choices there good best and better or good better and best harbor freight does yeah is that right i've never been in one of them stores yet oh man you'd be you would be like kid in a candy store. Oh, I know. Oh, That's why I'm staying out of the damn things. Uh, I make a little I bit of stock money. I their welder, but I started watching videos on that prime welder, and shoot, I said, I know which way I'm going. It's got a three-year warranty being shipped both ways. That's the kind of warranty that Miller and Lincoln gives you, you know? So they mm -hmm. obviously believe in their product, and I've yet to find a bad review on that welder. Bar so that what you named it Dutch Barbecue War Wagon? Had to load more stuff for the Barbecue War Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Harbor Freight. I can remember years ago before they had stores, they, they had these tents, so they'd pop these big circus tents up and it'd just be water wall tools. And you go up and down these aisles that were temporary. And a uh, matter of fact, I have a electric impact heavy duty. that's in the trunk of my car that still works that I got from one of them tent sales that they <laughs> used to do years ago before they actually had the brick and mortar. And uh, it come with an extra set of brushes I think everything they had that's not brushless comes with extra brushes, you know, but I've yet to matter of fact, I think the last time I used it was when I replaced all the pulleys and everything on my wife's lawnmower on the deck. She bought a kit with all brand new parts and I use that impact, put them on, put that deck upside down on the soul horses. Shoot, man, I didn't take no time. Harbor yeah, they, they, they got, got decent stuff, man. I wouldn't buy everything from there, even though, Maybe now you could because things have really gotten better there, but there's yeah. definitely a lot of cool stuff there, and you ought to check it out sometime, Lance. Yeah, you yeah I will. I will it's one day. Good. I just make sure I leave my money at home. There's one. There's a, uh, at least one guy that I've watched a number of times where he does reviews on uh, Harbor View or Harbor Freight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go in there and, and use it. Yeah, I'm subscribed to a few of them channels. There's one of them. It's called the den of tools is the name of the channel and that's all he does is tool reviews and a lot of it is harper freight now when yeah. it comes to like certain hand tools i've got some really good stuff good good brands and all but when it comes to like a grinder or that band saw i ain't gotta have the best i just gotta have something that's gonna work work well for a lot less money you know yeah i'm waiting to see that gear wall Ugh. Yeah, that gear, well, that gear art, Rad. I'm sorry. As soon as I get uh, as soon as I get my argon, I'll be able to TIG all that together. And I got some special rods coming. That uh, super missile they call it is for hard. All these gears are hardened, kind of like tool metal, you know. And so that'll work perfect on them. But uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna do a video. I think I'm just gonna make it, and then if I ever get to that back wall, I'm gonna just gonna hang it up. But the reason yeah. I say that that's a do-it-yourself channel, you know, that's not really. A, I mean, it's a project, yeah. But you know, I I don't know. I might. Who knows? A welding project. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's not like you're fixing something. Yeah, right. But you are showing the use of that welder. Yeah, I might. I might. If nothing else, do a short with it or something. You know. We'll see. But I do plan on knocking out some welding videos. Matter of fact, I got a whole stack of mirrors of the day. I just got to order the mirror holder off of Amazon, and I'm going to do a video just dedicated to mirror welding. 
<laughs> nobody mirror wells unless you're in a freaking shipyard and just the thought of looking through a mirror and welding you know i said i'm gonna do that that sucker allowed to get some good views yeah. we'll see Oh, really, I'm telling you. Yeah, I've got a Harbor Freight card. That's what I use. Matter of yeah. fact, I actually ordered it online, even though we got one right up the road. That's I went ahead and just ordered the bandsaw. It's a Bauer bandsaw and a Hercules stand for it. And, uh, dirt cheap man i think the stands a hundred dollars and that uh that saw is a little over a hundred dollars so for two hundred dollars i got a portable band saw with the chop saw thing you know so is it was it cheaper than going to the store and getting no it's probably cheaper to go to the store and get it because i had to pay seven dollars and something shipping uh, but okay just didn't want to wait because you know i had to wait for her to be off that or i had to keep the car and take her to work and then go at 9 30 10 o'clock at night and pick her up i'm like eh, i'll just order it they can bring it to me and they did man i almost i don't know if you guys know russ and al but i know lance knows i've been working on the paver walkway and I'm borrowing my dad's little, it's like a mini bobcat, you know, mm -hmm. skid steer. Man, that thing is like the tippiest thing I've ever been in in my life. Yeah. You get the bucket too high. Yeah. I, I was on like balancing on back wheels. <laughs> I thought I was going yeah. over. Wow. Yeah, be careful. Wow. I know a couple yeah. of people died on tractors, pulling logs, and that tractor come up and right over on them. Had a cousin that died that way. Mm hmm. Yeah, we went to a uh, Saturday morning, took the Amish guy to uh, an auction. This guy, was, he's, he was a contractor local here, and he was riding his four-wheeler in his own driveway. And I didn't, I didn't like every detail of the story, but he hit a tree smack on, and he's not really worth crap. I mean, he can talk and all that, but his mind and everything is just sort of scrambled still, but he's lucky. He's lucky. No, I said, if I ever buy a tractor, not that I need a tractor, but if I ever did, I'd put a wheelie bar on that thing. <laughs> Boy, it can't go but so far if it comes up in the air on you. Yeah. Yeah, man. And it happens quick too. So it does. I also work with another guy that almost got killed. It messed him up for a while. He just happened to jump off of that thing and, it kind of pinned him under. He was jumping as it was coming over, you know, so it, it didn't kill him, but it come close, but he eventually got, got better. Mm. Scary stuff, man. Yeah, this is a younger, younger guy. He just, he'll tell you something and then just all of a sudden repeat the same thing all over again. Mm. It's a shame we're so young. Mm-hmm. Simon must be in a bar. He says, I can't hear y'all. It's loud in here. <laughs> well, why are you on, <laughs> on a live, man? <laughs> Enjoy the bar. Oh, Joe. That was a turkey I was watching you do on your channel on that uh, rotisserie. Oh, yeah. I yeah, couldn't that, that actually, that turned out pretty good. History. There ain't enough clearance. That chicken barely had enough clearance. There ain't no way I could do a turkey on it. It's like it should be up a little higher. Unless I took the grates off. If I took the grates out, I could. That that's the trick right there. I gotta take the grates out. But I yeah. wanted to take, I wanted to put a drip pan up underneath underneath that chicken just to stop all that crap from going down in there, having to worry about cleaning all that crud out, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's got the, uh, does it have the rotisserie burner on it? No, this one does not. The, oh, the okay. Napoleon I used to have had that back infrared. Now, they do have an infrared. Let's say you got one, two, three, four. The fifth burner is an infrared, and it's for that multi 
purpose great it has a round centerpiece you can take out and swap with different things mm -hmm. that's all that's for and then it's got the side burner which is ceramic infrared you know i got you but, no i looked at that and I'm like damn it ain't got that rear infrared like that napoleon had i wonder if any of their grills do I don't not I don't know. This is the first time I ever worked with them. I just yeah. never been interested, you know. But <laughs> well, if you if you like it, you should see if they do have one with that. Yeah, and well, get that one like and their, sell that one. It's supposed to be like the best one they sell. Is uh, and this one I've reviewed is the brand new one. It's the uh, what do they call it? Denali Six Hundred Five Pro. They never put Pro in front of them. And I, I kind of screwed up on my intro because I didn't say pro, but I typed it out right below it. I said, I ain't already shoot that intro. Just over Yeah, there. I was going to say, I thought that was a brand new one for 2024. It is. They made a few changes. I watched Jeff's video. He did that on the Denali last year, and they had a side burner, just an eye, where you put a pot of beans or something. Yeah. That's gone, and they got an actual sear station there, which I like. And... uh. I don't know what else is upgraded. I know the battery box got bigger batteries. I'm like, well, why don't they just put 120 volts to it, you know, and get rid of them batteries altogether? It's not a it's not a cheap grill. 900 bucks. No, it's really not. Yeah. I think Sal's got a video coming up on it before long. I think that's what he's doing review on. I think he's got the same one. I'm not positive, but I think he does. Mine will be out. I don't know what day it's going to be out. They told me to have it uploaded by the 15th. Tomorrow is the 15th. And I like <laughs> all I like on this video being finished with the editing is just the very ending of it. And uh, I actually got that recorded. I did the voiceover earlier. I'm just going to throw some more footage I already got trying to squeeze out eight minutes then i'm gonna upload it unlisted let them take a look at it and uh and ask them when they want me to go live with it yeah man cool googie you got me fucked up man i was looking at facebook market looking for viking and shit but yeah the viking there. um they're they're pretty good. I would say Lynx is better. L N or L I N X. And Lynx actually makes the Viking grills now. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know, those, my uh, my my cousin owns a Viking. He's always told me to. Uh, my cousin in Cali. I've mm -hmm. never, he's always said, man, come over and cook on it, man. But I've never gotten a chance. But I did find some Webers on there that were pretty cheap. So I just yeah, sent the Webers, them a message. The Webers aren't bad. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the Webers, man. I love the one I got. and I've already had it for six years, man. It's still pumping out like fucking brand new, man. Pumping yeah, they, out they, make, they make good gassers. Uncle Steve, he's got a Viking. Cool. Yeah, I felt like an idiot yesterday because it came with four D cell batteries and it said to put them in the box. And I did. And I'm following all the instructions. I get the thing put together and it has that controller. I turn it on, it lights up. I turn it off. I kept looking. I said, them lights look like they're on across the front i said well maybe they're glow in the dark <laughs> you know and uh got up the next day and the batteries are just about dead and so Tarina was at the store i texted her i said pick me up four more d cells and i uh called jeff rice i said hey man i said you did that review on that denali i said how do you turn the lights off on the control knobs i said i figured it, they went off with the controller i said they're not about bled my batteries down he goes oh god i can't remember so i'm sitting there thinking undoubtedly you ain't got to unplug that thing every time you know i said they, they got to be smarter than that i'm sitting there farting around all of a sudden i look like well damn there's a switch right here <laughs> it's got a little light switch so i made sure i put that in that video i didn't see nothing in the book about it or anything 
I'm, mm. I'm, I just happened to see it. It had a little light bulb. I clicked it. It was already clicked in. I clicked it out, and the lights went off on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Easy enough. But, yeah, I felt stupid after I said, found it. Right there in front <laughs> of my face. I cooked on that pizza oven last night. That went pretty well, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I love cooking on mine. I just don't seem like I ever get back around to it. Man, it was so much, man. so much better than the little tabletop pizza oven I had. Oh yeah, those things are so hard to use. Well, at least the one I have is, and the opening I think I talked about it the other day is just so small, so you really yeah. can't manipulate that pizza very well. What kind of pizza oven did you get? What it's like brand? A, it's called like Forno Ventizia. I don't know. It's a. I mean, it's a pretty nice pizza. Not as nice as the Fontana, but it, it looks similar to that. Yeah, I think I've heard of that. Forno, there's also another popular brand that uh, I can't remember the name of it. A lot of people use. But yeah, I like that Fontana, man. That thing's built right. Mm -hmm. The stainless that's on the inside of it. I read up on that when I did that review. And uh, it like it's like a heat sink. And it won't warp or anything like most stainless well and this well is solid on the inside then where you actually build a fire is it's a one quarter inch wall right there corded still oh, it nice. gets a patina on it like rust but it will never eat through you know it just has that rust layer on the outside you can't see it, it's up inside the pit but it's a uh, corded still they call it and then all the outside is 304 stainless just your typical stainless but uh, no, I, get, it, I guess got it's six fun. Inches of insulation across the top, the bottom, and the sides. Very well insulated. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. I'm looking forward to more cooks on it. Yeah. Is your, I guess your fire's in the back, Guggen, or on sides, or what? So I think it's similar to Russ's. I build the fire in the middle, heat up the floor, right. and then I scoot it over to the side. I don't know if that's what you do or not, Russ. I don't. I build mine right there on the side, and I got that little laser thermometer. I get a rolling <laughs> fire. I'm sitting there watching the temperature of them stones, and uh, when they get in the range, depending on what I'm cooking, you know, if I do a Neapolitan, it's going to be 750, and whenever I get a good 750 on them stones, that's when they go in. Mm -hmm. But if I'm at 500, of course, it doesn't take as long. You don't really need a rolling fire to, to achieve 500, you know. Right. But, uh, but yeah, it, it had that effect. It had that rolling fire over the top when I scooted over to the to the side. Yeah. It was cool. I got a hey, grill go that's designed to go in that thing, and it would go in the center. You put the fire under it, like to sear steaks or whatever. I doubt mm -hmm. I ever use that. Yeah, I've got it. Matter of fact, I might chop it up and use that stainless rod for something else, a project mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> you know. I hear you. But, uh, have you got have you guys seen the uh I think uh, the only uh well actually several companies, right? But uh the I've seen the price on the uh gourmet wood products, uh, pizza oven wood. Have you seen it, Googie? The price mm -hmm. on the box? I haven't seen the price now. Oh shit, man! So if you're used to buying, uh, you know, uh, GWP uh, splits for your your offset, you're looking at sixteen ninety nine for you know a pretty decent uh, set of uh, splits. But when it comes to pizza ovens, man, you're paying thirty four ninety nine for a box. Man. Is that because it's uh, split a little bit smaller? Right. Gotcha. <laughs> and I. And I'm sure the volume is much less than what you would get in the box, but because it's just, you know, those sticks that are perfect wood size for your pizza oven. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude, you're paying a pretty penny, man. That's crazy, man. Yeah. I, and, and it's not just with the GWP. It's with other brands. You know, I'm not picking on them, man, uh, because they, sure, they've been sure. really, they're really, they've been really good to me. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, they have good stuff. I've used it before. Um. I'm just too cheap now, so now I'm just splitting my own wood. And <laughs> yeah. I'll tell but, you what, but in a pinch, I buy it. I go to Academy Sports, and I buy that uh, b, b Splits. That's already splits. Now there's some of them, and we have to split again. Yeah, it's so yeah, uneven, it man. 
That's the thing yeah, about a, um, a pizza oven. They recommend you not use a split <clears throat> over three inches. Two inches is better. But I got a box full of small splits that's for a pizza oven. But I only use that to get it started. I still need longer splits. My pizza oven holds splits that long, you know. Wow. But, uh, yeah, Trina bought some wood the other day for that old hickory. And that would actually make really good pizza wood. It, it's smaller pieces, about yay long. I got yeah, GWP had some really good, consistent uh, splits. I ain't yeah. seen you for a while. What's up, Jeremy? So what kind of pizza did you make, uh, Guggen? Man, I just made pepperoni and cheese. I just was really testing it out. Um, was it a was it a, a homemade dough, or did you store-bought, or what did you do? No, so I was going to make dough. I watched Russ's recipe yesterday morning. And I was like, oh, shit, it's got to ferment for a couple days in the refrigerator. So then I went to the local New York pizza place, you know, pizzeria, and just bought some dough. And it, it turned out pretty good. And so, you know, if you ever do make mine, you can do it overnight, like a 24-hour ferment. Mm -hmm. and It would do just fine. You'd still have all kind of flavor. That's a really good recipe. I got it from somebody I watched on YouTube, and I followed his method. And... uh yeah, man, that makes a really flavorful dough, you know, if you ever do decide to make that. And like I said another day, you could make a big batch of it and break them down to balls and freeze them, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to try it, Russ. It looks like so, a good recipe. So, Russ, do you freeze them after they ferment fermented? Yeah, after they're fermented, you, you pop it, you know, and then you make balls. And you can either let them rise, partially rise again, or you can just put them in balls, put them mm -hmm. in a vacuum bag, vacuum pack them, and put them in the freezer. When they thaw out, they're going to start rising again. It'd be just okay. like the day you did them, you know? Right. But I, I need to do that. I would like to make like 10 individual <clears throat> balls. That way we get ready for pizza. I got to do is throw some wood in that thing. The dough's already done, you know. So how much how much ounces uh, for something like a twelve inch? Oh, pizza dough, uh, I, I forget what I did those for. It's not much. I'd have to go back and watch my own video, man. I research shit. I make these videos, and then a lot of times I have to go back and watch my own video just to remember how I did stuff. Right. Same here. Same here. You know. why I did it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's fucked up when you see your own up. video. Uh, after you know, you're seeing your own video, yeah. Now, I do keep uh recipes in, in this folder right here. It's uh, I got a bunch of books on top of it. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those playboys. So was it a lot of um, babysitting? What's up, Mr. <laughs> Hernandez? Uh, Google was a lot of babysitting to it. I mean, the videos I've watched, man, it was just a lot of spin. I mean, you couldn't really like walk away. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just curious that, that you find that to be sort of kind of situation. It's like you don't um, put it in, just walk away from it. No, you're not going to walk away from it once you get the pizza in there. Um, it only takes 90 seconds to two minutes to cook, and you want to turn it, um, you know, a few times so it doesn't burn on the side close to the fire. Right. Um, but, you I mean, you only stand there for two minutes, pop it out, and then you can put another one in there. As far as managing the fire, no, it was super easy. I didn't have to worry about that. So, and I've seen a, uh, a guy before, he had like an L-shaped metal plate where it actually went under his fire and it came up to create like like a heat deflector hmm. yeah I, i've seen some different variations um, mine doesn't have anything like that but i mean traditionally when you're cooking pizza i think you got to turn them yeah um, in a wood fire if you don't have that deflector like you're talking about yeah it, uh, i guess as far as a door it had a door and all that on there or you just leave it open because you just Mate, you're just spinning it so much. Yeah, I, I, when I put the pizza in there, I just leave the door off. That's what I do. I close the door to kind of get it up to 
heat or whatever. Yep. Yeah. To get that and tip then, up, uh, I'll leave it on there I'm a little bit. Long, I'll leave that door because it only takes a minute and a half at 750 degrees to do a Neapolitan. And even if I'm doing one at 500 degrees, I'll leave that door off, you know. Mm -hmm. That way I can keep my eye on the, on the pizza itself. So was uh, Mrs. Guggen all forgiven once she got a bite of that pizza or did you not save her any? Well, her pizza was the first one I put in there. And I find out today she said it was shit. So I put too much sauce and too much cheese on hers. She, right. said, it was, she said it was soggy. Mine came out really good, but mine was the the second one. Right. What's so all I'll have to redeem better. myself. Yeah, it's all got to get better. Yeah, it, it's a learning curve, just like it, you know, the first time I did barbecue, the first year or two I did barbecue, and you know, not, not everything came out great. So, hey, so yeah, what do you yeah. guys? What do you guys think? Um, I got this uh, one on Facebook Market. It's a Weber, but it uh, but it's missing a door. Was it a pizza oven? No, no, no. This is a Weber gas uh, grill. Gas or yeah. You um, think I can get the? You think I can get the door from Weber? If I, I think you right? could. I've I've gotten parts from them before. Used their dealt with their customer service department before, and uh, they were great to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if they still make the model and you may be able to find it on eBay too. Well, it's people... it's it's the it's the Genesis, man. So it's the higher end uh gasser for whatever. how much they want for it. She's asking 40, I can lowball her, man. I could wow. say 30, 30 well, I, or I would jump on that, man. Yeah. I mean, you don't even need the door. That door don't mean well, that. Just... well yeah, I know, but I just want it to look need the door, might not want the door. Yeah. Just take both the doors off that, and it'll look, it'll look normal. <laughs> you are. But that uh, guy right here, Al, I'll bet you this guy right here can help you obtain that door. Who's that? Oh, Rick? Rickster? Susan, don't even need the door. So still. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying for that price. Yeah, she wants 40 Uh. But I can say what? 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 What should I offer her? I don't know. Uh, give her say five bucks. Troy saying that door is going to cost two hundred dollars. No, let me look for it, man. But it's a gold door, golden door. You know, it's that offset. Yeah, I do, just do a quick, like Google said, do a quick eBay. That's where you're going to find the used parts for it. I tell you something, I was kind of impressed with on that monument. Is I got to looking at the warranty. They got a one full year warranty mm -hmm. for everything, but they got an eight year warranty on the burners without eating out. And that's that used to be the number one problem with a gas grill was the burners eating away. But this has got a eight year warranty on just the burners. I'm like, damn. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I did a video comparing uh, Weber to Monument. Uh, so it's a one year on the uh, one year on, on all the other parts, eight years on the uh, monuments. Uh, Weber, ten years on every fucking thing, dude. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Troy says he was lying to you, Al, or to <laughs> us, I should say. <laughs> um, I might I'm just here. go buy it right now, dude. That's I'm drunk. Wild. I'm drunk enough. It's only about 15 minutes away. I mean, I'm seeing... So beat you, for someone beat you to it. I'm right? seeing a pair of doors. I don't know if it's the same model, but it says Weber Genesis. A pair of doors on eBay for 75 bucks. So, um, Are yeah, they gold or the black? This was just uh, stainless. They, they weren't oh. colored. But uh, I don't know, man. For that price, if the burners are okay and the she igniter works. Still works. Yeah. I would just make sure they're not like, you know, rusty or anything like that. Yeah, let me um cuz if they if they didn't cover it and then water gets in there and all the grease and everything else it starts to corrode. Yeah. Um, yeah, but those aren't that much, man. I bought some for like 20 something bucks, man. First one oh, yeah. I ever owned was a Sunbeam. And a year after I bought it, I had to buy all new burners, eight smooth out, 
then the next year those ate out and then finally i just started dumping charcoal into it and cut a vent <laughs> hole into it and use it as a charcoal grill until i finally bought a real that was years ago back in the 90s Around here, they make flower pots out of them. <laughs> there you go, Al. Steve said. Steam still in business, not, but they were a big box store gas grill. Real cheap, a couple hundred dollars, I think. And they didn't last no time. For 175 I don't know if I want to pay 175 That's probably That's brand new, though, probably, I'm sure. I ain't going to pay it either. Let's see a picture of that grill again, Al. Uh, let me see if I could. Uh, it's kind of gold color, wasn't it? Yeah, it was gold. Let me. Uh, Steve, Steve let me was present. Brown. Let's see here. This is the way it would look brand new. Uh, the Genesis E330. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can present it, Lance, if you. I'm waiting. What's <laughs> Rick saying? I felt it my due diligence to do a monument grill video because everybody else so has done it, and I never have. That, always, I've always turned them down, but this time I said yes. That's it. Right so there. tell them, Rick. So it's, it's that one. Let me see if I can get it uh, to go bigger. Home Depot, yeah. So Home Depot got it. See more details. Got it. What is it? There it is. Can you guys see that? Yeah. I mean, it's not it blown up. I've seen it's those not. before. Uh, you know, used like I'm like Google too. I love to uh, do that marketplace stuff. So it's seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine for the grill. Uh, yeah, it's not bad for a Weber. No flavor. Well, I don't plan on keeping that one though. I'm just gonna do my video, hang on to it for a short time, just to see if they got any more interest in another video, and if not, I'm selling it. I'm all about the charcoal and wood. But I do I do think there's a, a place for gas grill convenience more than anything. That yeah, darn steak tastes good, though. I don't care what nobody says, man. It was good, good off that gas. Yeah, yeah. I, like Steve I said, I don't saying to buy it and contact Weber. I guess would they cover some of it under warranty or something? Yeah, I can just lie and say I bought it off of you know whatever. And I've I've heard people do that. Uh and uh they cover it man so somebody stole the door off my weber are you gonna make it good right i don't i don't think you can make fun of a gas grill if you cook on a pellet grill that's just my opinion that's true it's all about convenience rick i don't i don't make fun of no girl i don't think they all got, they I don't all got pellets is good as an offset or a drum I do it all, but, dude. I do it all. I do it all, it's, man. I, it's got I its do place. it all. Yeah. I got I got offsets. I got charcoal grills. I got uh, yeah. uh, griddles. I got uh, burners. I got I got I got them all, dude. I'm a slut. Yeah. Yeah. This will not be my first gas grill review on my channel. It's been a long time, but it's not the first one. But uh. Uh, Troy saying that the original owner. Had registered unless you get her name. Hi, I'm Sally. <laughs> they did register. You're out of luck. Oh, okay. Because it is the girl. Uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask straight up. You know, can did you register it? Way different flavor from pellets, there, Mr. Guggen. I see yeah, Ojo I bought himself a half a quart of wood. So I offered her 30, man. If she says yes, I want to fucking go, man. She's about to use the hell out of it without a door. If you're shooting a video, you ain't got to show where the door is. Just show the grade up. 
right? Yeah, That's but the guy thing is a project, in my opinion. Once you get that, it's a project. I fix it up. Yeah, exactly. I would make sure the burners are good, and if they're not, price that out and see what it'd take to get that part back. And then you might want to consider. No, I I, I did a video on the burner re replacement for that particular grill. It's oh, nothing, man. It's yeah. twenty something bucks. That ain't. Oh, uh, Steve, he's he's doing a Memphis and May. He's saying to cook Weber kettles a win. I've never owned any Lone Star. Russ has had all the Lone Stars, but that Weber kettle, I love my Weber kettle. I always try to talk that Amish guy into getting one in the other day. <laughs> Troy say, now make that grill a lowrider. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, dude. You guys, you guys going to see me might just do that. And then have some of that background get background noise. Well, hang on, y'all. Hang on. I, I'll get some golden grills, man, just for that fucking video, dude. Sh smiling. <laughs> Let me find this. Uh... <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Let's see. Yeah, here's how you get. Here's how you get smoke on a gas grill. Uh yeah, man, the smoke box. Hell yeah, they gave you one of those too, Russ. Yeah, they gave me a smoke box. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, Hell yeah! Look at that laser cut with bondman on it. Yeah. Fancy shit. Damn it, boy. So you can get smoke on a gas grill if you get a little. You ain't got to have a smoke box. You can put it in full and pop some holes in it. It's going to smoke. Yeah, which is the same as like an electric smoker. You're just putting some chips in there. Yeah. Right. And burning and igniting those chips or at least smoldering those chips. I mean for some yeah. reason though, I, I think I've gotten better results with uh chips than versus pellets when I've done that on my gas. That's, yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. Think so too. I don't I've never had luck with pellets. They just always want to go out or something like that. I'd rather have chips in it myself. Yeah, if you have one yeah. of them pellet, what do they call it? The uh uh chips. Pellet. Pellet tube. Pellet tube. Those you light them on one end, let them get caught, blow the fire out. That thing is smoke all the way to the end of it. Yeah, you drop on that in a gas grill too. If let's say you had a burner off over here on the far right or far left, you could do a smoke to this thing's got six burners. And the most I used yesterday on the bratwurst, I had two lit on each side of the bratwurst. Then when I did the rotisserie chicken, I had two little under max and then i had the two outside ones on low and that brought that thing up to about 305 310 degrees and it that chicken turned out golden brown you know all right yeah yeah but, you make uh, me wish i'd put that rotisserie together today i just couldn't get up to it man it was it was all i could do is get out here and get wheels put him out let him go walking for a little bit i was just out yeah and then George said he wasn't going to uh, go live. And I was like, oh, man. But yeah. it all worked out. Sitting here all laid back. She's not. Up. I want to go get a beer. She's not answering, but I told her, I'll go right now if you take 30. Turkey there's a place it over where there is a flow. The f airflow is located on the grill. Yeah, this is true. Well, I yeah, I, I had an issue yeah. using the pellet tube on my vertical pellet smoker I had. It would always go out, but I think it didn't have the proper airflow in that yeah. particular smoker. Same yeah. here, but when I did get it going, like on a windy day, um, I would use the top rack on my... Uh, propane grill and have the uh the burner set real low and then i put the tube right under the top rack mm -hmm. and i got a fucking hell like a badass fucking smoke flavor on on the meat i made ribs chicken uh but i don't see it working its way from one end of the the grill to another <laughs> unless you're 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 moving the grill downwind do you know what i mean where the uh, tube would kind of move it, it, it doesn't have no fans going on on 
on the propane. You know yeah, what I mean? Sure. If you got any kind of smoke source and the lids closed, it's going to fill up with smoke. This will be more of a stagnant smoke because of the lack of flow, but you're still going to have smoke all through it. You know, just not going to flow in the direction you want. Necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I'm just saying that like, you know, when you smoke something, you get that color on that, on that meat. Yeah. I don't get the color vertically. I get it. I'm sorry, uh, horizontally. I get it when I put it where the smoke's naturally going to rise up on the meat, and I, then I'll get that smoke color on the meat uh, when I put it on the top rack. You know what I like mean? Like a Weber kettle, you know, you're cooking in direct. Your meat's here. Your fire's over here. I usually make like a snake, put a few chunks of smoke wood. Yeah, but that's because you have a draw. That's because you have a draw. Well, yeah, you know you what I mean? Upper vent, it's going to pull yeah. that smoke right over it. Right, know? but the 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 propane grill is not set no, up that way. That it no, has a vent not. on the back. Uh, the, the only thing I can think of, like on this one I got, the one I did the video, it's got that drip pan that you can pull out to clean. But right in the center of it, it's got a hole like this, and the grease drips into aluminum tray, and it's got a stainless tray under that. So you could get air through there you know what i'm saying and then the back's wide open so it, it's it's got a draft if you have yeah. a smoke box or anything in there it's going to draft some you know so so can... one so one thing about the weber uh and this is something that you want to look at when you're doing uh, uh propane uh you need some type of back pressure before the 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 heat exits the grill and most of these propane grills, if you look at the back where they exit, they have the vent. It's just a flat. It's it's. There's not even a lip. There's not even an overlip. Let's just say you have a vent that's like this. You want a curve at the end of of that vent. That way, there's a little bit of back pressure where the uh, the heat kind of contains itself. It revolves mm -hmm. and then eventually makes its way outside the the vent. Uh, if if you look at the monument. Uh, versus the 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 Weber, the Weber has that lip, that overlay, uh, where it <laughs> contains some of that heat. And I mentioned it in the in the video where I con uh, compared the Weber to the Monument Grill. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, that's one thing that if you look at Weber, uh, they do that. I don't know about the other brands, but. Uh, but I mean, the cheaper brands like uh, Expert Grill and what I, they, they're just wide open. You'll see like an inch of a vent open, man. That's just like there. There's so much heat escaping. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was trying to find a shot. The cart on this one, the back is open about this far across it, and then it's it's got the uh, slotted walls below that. But I was looking on the actual grill part itself to see if I had any footage on that because it's got a little slot about this wide that runs all the way across it, and you feel that heat pouring out of there. And it does have like a little lip on it. I just don't know if I caught that on video or not. Didn't even think about Wait a minute. No, that's the front of it. I mean, there, there has to be a draft. Yeah, yeah, it's got a vent. The heat, the way heat has to vent out. About an inch and a half. That's what a draft is. There, that, that heat pours right out of it. But right. there, I think what he means is there's no draw. There's no draw on a gas grill. Uh, like on an offset, you have the smokestack that's drawing air through it well, horizontally. Fire in itself, regardless if it's gas, if it's charcoal or wood, Right. to draft is it i felt I, you could feel the heat coming out of the top of that right that lid. but it, i, I could feel the, the heat it, there is a draw i don't know how much correct but you can direct a draw if uh you can direct it to a a, a, a particular direction if you have a smokestack right sure right. yeah that's kind of like that pits and spits grill it's kind of like this gas grill it's got a slot all the way across the whole width of that lid and so it would be better if it had dampers on each side of that lid to where you could close one off and force that smoke to go out that one side. But the way it is, is a slot all the way across. All the smoke's pouring out the back and out, you know. But it still delivers plenty of smoke. 
Yeah, she's not answering, so maybe 30 was too low. <laughs> nah, sometimes it takes a while, man. Yeah, she may not have all that turned on right now. I don't think electric smokers would be any different as far as whether it's a draw or whatever. I mean, I don't well, know. Well, my master bill, it has an exhaust. It has a pull on it. Any kind of heat, it even less heat creates convection. Right. You know, it, it, it's going right. to have some natural convection just because heat rises. And so it's going to suck up any air that it can from underneath to create that convection. Some do better than others, depending on the configuration of whatever it is you got, you know? Yeah. But, but I don't uh, smoke on my gas grill, so I don't really care. <laughs> I, yeah, I grill yeah, some I mean, hamburgers, quick meals on it. It's just during the week. I'm not trying to make competition barbecue or anything. Right. That's right. No, I agree. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't even want to use that smoke box because I didn't want to dirty up that. It's got that clear glass across front of it, and it should stay clear as long as I don't smoke in it. You know, what I'm saying that smoke's going to turn it. Yeah, I've I've used mine before on my yeah. gas grill, but I feel like I don't really get any flavor from it. Maybe because the temperature is yeah. too high. Um, well, that's the thing. If you're going to smoke something, pull out a smoker. It right. be just something that grill quickly, steaks, burgers, hot dogs, mm -hmm. whatever. But fire up the gas grill. Good enough. Sure. You know. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this, There's a good. free performer. Y'all got me searching through uh, Marketplace now. There's a free performer, Red Kettle. Oh, God. Every time I go to Facebook now. I went in the marketplace a couple of weeks ago looking for wire to run this 240 with some used wire. Now, every time I go there, it's trying to show me wire. I'm like, I already got wire. Quit doing it. I know. <laughs> that drives me crazy. But sometimes it's like, oh, if, if you didn't pull the trigger on something, but you just put it on the back burner, sometimes that helps. It's like, oh, well, look, there, you better deal yet. Yeah. Yeah. I've got I would like to see you uh, do like a brisket or something really stupid on that propane grill. There it would be funny. Oh, God, that'd be a nightmare. <laughs> or maybe not a brisket. That would be a long cook, but maybe something, I don't know, ribs low and slow on there. Some Something that you shouldn't do on a propane grill. Yeah. Ribs? Ribs would be uh, very doable for sure. I, I've definitely done hot and fast ribs. And they come out, you know, really good. But I've never done low and slow or anything like that on the gas. I did those uh, direct ribs here not long ago on that Pips and Spits, man. They had a really good flavor. You know, it was, uh, they had smoke on them, but it wasn't like putting them in my, an offset or my old hickory. It was somewhere between smoked and grilled. But they cook fast. It's like two hours and 45 minutes these things are ready to eat you know it's like dang what's up brisket medic hopefully you haven't been watching too long i don't want to really hear what he has to say about <laughs> gas grills <laughs> <laughs> what's up zach what do you say i was I was looking at I was mini split. Of, oh, I was looking at the prices of, of mini split for replacing costs in a report I was writing. Now every time I go to Facebook, I get a ton of mini split ads. Yeah. 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 Everything I look at somewhere else pops up on my Facebook feed. So this gentleman's been watching your channel there, uh Ross. He's telling you to make that big rib sandwich on that gasser. Yeah. Steven, yeah. I'll be right back. Good game made a good rib in his life. <laughs> yeah, she ain't answering, but it's she's selling it in the same city I work at, so maybe tomorrow I'll take my truck and if she answers, I'll fucking load it up. Yeah, you got me looking. 
I got to show you something. I'll be right back. All right. That's the thing about being a host. I can't go searching for grills now. I did find, um, although I when I got home, I realized I screwed up. I found two 16-pound bags of the original Kingsford, the white bag. Yeah. $17 yesterday. Or Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yesterday. And I was like, damn it. I, I like the professional blend, the briquettes. Is that about a god awful ugly hat? Oh shit. Piss and spit sent me that hat, but wait till you see this shirt they sent me. I said, there is no way in hell I'm wearing this shirt. Oh my god. Pits and spit shirt. It looks like a tablecloth or something. Well, it's good. <laughs> it, it's good for the fourth of July. Yeah. Oh, holy definitely. crap. Thank you, Simon. Pitch it. Good for, it's good for the 4th of July. We won't laugh at you, Russ. Come on. Put it on. Try it on, Russ. We won't laugh no, at no, you. No, no, no. Back up. The only thing they sent me that I kind of did like, well, they did send me some rubs that are pretty good. But uh, hang on. <laughs> Don't lose it over 41, Al. No kidding, right? Yes. They did some of that cutting board in that same box. Pits and spits. Damn. Yeah, it's not bad. That makes up for it all. That's a pretty one. Hi, yeah. Harris. But, uh, yeah. Bitch won't, say, put the, uh, bitch won't put the shirt and hat on and hold that. Well, she asked me a while back. She goes, what size shirt you wear? I thought she meant t-shirt. I was expecting the pits and spits like on the pocket or something and they yeah. send that thing. I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> Trying to come here. I had it laying up here the other day. She goes, what in the world is that? It's just a shirt. Holy crap. Hey, Dave, I, might you missed him. I might do like a... He was in here maybe an hour ago, yeah. uh, David, and said he was still hurting pretty good, that uh, he woke up drunk. That he, uh, if they, I guess there's a possibility of him even calling in tomorrow. Yeah, that hat that hat ain't gonna cut it, Steven. I missed uh I missed the hat and shirt, but it must be pretty bad. That's that looks like an old man hat. It's like something Lance would wear or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's that gold it's, one hanging up there it's, behind it's, it's, it's me. Uh, okay. Must mustard color, man. Wear it when you're making some hot dogs. I'm not gonna pull the shirt back out, but they sent me that hat. It's just oh, like send it to me. I'll wear it when I'm cooking on my pits and spits. Looks like a golf hat or something. Yeah, that's a dad's hat. Pitch, man, it's glued. That glue's coming off on that corner a little bit. Yeah. They just glued it to it. I think they call them <laughs> dad's hats. One's no uh, buckham in the front. It looks like something Trump would wear. <coughs> like uh -huh. a, looks like something Trump would wear. Like a fancy hat. Yeah, it does, don't <laughs> Yeah. That shirt was something else. Though. It looked like something like that. Uh, the you know the dad would wear on on Fourth uh, of July in his backyard. What's that golfer with the gray hair that shows up in all these memes? It looks like something he would wear. I don't. Even uh oh, know. I know who you're talking about. Um, yeah, yeah, that guy's crazy. <laughs> Have you guys watched anything about that golfer? Huh? Yeah. No, oh, he just he. He beat Tiger Woods, I think, once when he was like hammered drunk. Oh, really? Yeah. He, I can't remember his name though, but I can't either. I've seen him all kind of memes, but don't really know who he is. I'm not much into golf, though. I'm not either, but he's been he's become kind of an icon. Yeah. John Daly. She the one with the cigar out of his mouth usually. Yeah, John Daly. John Daly. There he is. Yeah, he doesn't drink water. He hates it. He he'll, he'll drink like seventeen diet cokes throughout a like a round of golf. Okay. All right. Yeah, he, he's a character. Yeah, they uh they sent me that the other day. I've used the rubs before. One of them's in the kitchen. That's what's Trina. They hit. They sent me a steak seasoning. 
that's what she sees in the states with but this is just a basic rub i reckon tips and spits man I'll, I'll tell you one thing i don't love about pits and spits is that i needed a replacement on my uh, firebox door it has like a wooden handle so you don't burn yourself <coughs> like a little latch or lever or whatever i needed a yeah. replacement and they were going to charge me regard regardless of what it was how much it cost 50 dollars minimum dang that, that's their handling fee i can't so, stand that uh i went to some website the other day trying to buy something welding related and i was getting ready to check out and it's like you have to have a 35 dollar minimum order i'm like screw you i'll go to amazon i can buy the same thing there and that's what i did yeah yeah i ended up buying something different and making it work yeah that's like the maker of these hoops for this um, embroider machine back behind me that hoop i need it there's a little barrel nut it's some odd thread and everything, but it's a barrel nut. After you tighten up a little bit, the screw will pull threads out of that thing. And uh, like you just said, Guggen, it's a minimum cost. If the thing is just a 50 cent part, you got to pay 20 bucks. It's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that package I was talking about the threads the other day. I said, I bet you that thing don't weigh five pounds for $30 coming to Ohio. It was three pounds. They charged me thirty dollars to ship that one little box from Ohio. I said, "Damn it!" Yeah, I might wear that shirt. I thought about doing a. I got to do another video for them in May, so I might just do like a summertime grill out, cookout type thing. Just hamburgers, yeah. hot dogs, fourth of July. I was, type stuff, I was thinking that's a hot dog shirt. Yeah. I'm definitely not wearing that hat, though. Yeah, <laughs> it is, Steve. It's crazy. I even called him out on it. I said, we ship out of here weekly. I think your shipping cost fees are excessive. And um, they had basically had no reply about it. There's nothing they could do. They're blaming it on the shipping companies. I retired from UPS. I was a package car driver. Well, I'm. I think it's UPS that's bringing that slushy machine. Like I said, it's 130 pounds on a box. It's pretty heavy. I hope they got some sort of dolly or something to where they don't drop that thing. <laughs> they're, they're just gonna kick it off the back. Sometimes yeah. they ship stuff that really should be two people on that truck. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just one driver. Mm -hmm. Have a lift gate or something. You know, I mean, it's not super heavy but it's heavy when you're trying to handle a big old box like that by yourself yeah i'm thinking unless it's changed i mean i've been out for many years but ups used to be 120 pound max yeah good luck yeah and you guys didn't have ramps or lift gates or anything so no nah. those guys must be in pretty good shape well, I think Fed, uh, uh, Federal Express, uh, 150 pounds now, okay. I say it's been some years since I've been out. And I was there when it increased to 120. But they make pretty good money, too. Yeah. From what yeah. I've heard. Yeah. If they got some of them hand slots on a box that size, I guess it'd make it a lot easier to handle that kind of weight. Well, I take my hand truck. You put your hand truck on the back of that uh, that back bumper, right? You can make a ramp out of it and slide well, it right on down, that. down the hand truck. I've gotten some of that Devor stuff, like that big 10-quart mixer I got. That come in a wood crate, man. That thing was well crated. And I think that uh, something else I got came in wood like that. I mean, it took forever to get into the thing. They had these staples about that long where they shut that thing down. You know, it's like, holy crap. But we'll see. Did she answer yet, Al? Yeah, she did. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, she's not going to let it go for 30. She said 40. 
What a bum. Yeah. But but forty's still good, man. Yeah. yeah, but she can she couldn't come off five bucks, meet met you in the middle. Forty's yeah. probably pretty cheap for it. I mean, I don't know, but I'm thinking forty's pretty damn cheap for it. Yeah, Does but she have any pictures of the inside of it. So, well, if I'm gonna pay forty, could you send me pictures of the burners and everything before I even waste my time? Then she's always say, "Screw you, I'm waiting for somebody else." Yep. <laughs> I don't have to sell this. Next. <laughs> Yeah, Son I don't know. Fish. It's missing a door, man. Yeah, it's yeah. missing a door. I'll give you 25. I mean, how do you lose a door? No shit, man. Because you well, did. I was <laughs> did she say it's missing a door or is it just not on it? It's not on it. No, no, it's, it's not. Yeah, you can see it in the picture. It's not on it. Right. Well, that don't mean it's not there, though. Or she actually say it was missing. Could just come off. No, well, I did ask. It's oh, missing okay. a door. Yeah, so. Um, well, I'm gonna. I, I'm still. I'm still gonna go for it, but I'm just gonna try to find the the door. In the meantime. Uh, yeah. Do YouTube, man. There's guys that are crazy web collect Weber collectors. Right. I guarantee you can find a um, a door from one of those YouTube guys. Yeah, just make sure that it's not going to cost you more yeah. to yeah. find the door than it would be just buying one for <laughs> buying a grill that's a hundred bucks on Facebook. You know what yeah. I mean? That or yeah. just live with the fact it don't have a door. All yeah, that it is, it's hiding a propane bottle anyway. It's not going to affect the way it cooks. It's I'm a web concerned about burners, but like you said, you can get burners for twenty dollars. So, or take off the other door and get a piece of stainless that fits in. To cover, you know, where both doors used to be. PJ Slater. Like a thin Simon, piece. Simon must be feeling good today, tonight. Thanks, Simon. Did you see what uh, MBL had to say, Al? Oh, let me check. I'm, I'm still looking at the, but yeah, let me check. Let me see here. What did he say? Uh, say it's a Weber, damn it. Damn cheap stick. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah no, I know that I'm going for the thirty. I mean, the forty that she was asking. Boy, but now, be reasonable unless it's gone on the inside, like they're all saying. If it's gone on the inside, then I mean, you might put a lot of money into that thing. But I don't no, know. no, I gotta... you, you you can see the inside. Yeah, the the Webers uh, are fucking made really well, dude. Is that right? Yeah, they're gotta... porcelain coated grates. Uh, let me check. Yeah, porcelain coated uh, uh, cast iron cooking grates. Yeah, I mean, dude, I got the lower end of this one. Uh, the lower end of, of, of the I got the Spirit 210, and this is the higher end. This is the Genesis, uh, it's thicker yeah. metal. And even that one that I got, it's fucking balls out, dude. So I sort of is, looked at a couple quick ones in between uh, commercials here, and they're running four or five to a hundred dollars here used for the black ones. Yeah, the the one I got, man, runs for five hundred bucks, and it's just two burners, dude. This one's running for eight hundred and something. That's three burners, uh, so well, forty here's bucks. A black, here's a black Genesis for two hundred. That's a good price. But that's the lowest one I've seen yet. They've all been four and five hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna check for the, see how much the doors are real quick. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good price though. Um, I'm seeing them five hundred bucks on here on Facebook. So it's the Weber Genesis E three ten Espresso. That's I guess that's what they call the color describing the color. Okay. Yeah. Espresso. Let's see, uh, Weber Genesis replacement parts. Yeah, man, they sell everything for it, man. Right. Yeah, that's pretty popular. Should the Spirit 2 grill, they want two, uh, 150. That's a pretty good one. That's the one I got, the 210, the E210, which is uh, kind of has like a cabinet. 
I keep seeing this one now every time I go searching because I looked at it so many oh, times. That, cool. uh, Weber Rancher, eleven $1 hundred and fifty dollars. <clears throat> Is that the big kettle? Yeah, it's a thirty-six inch, dude. That's yeah, way that's a lot of... <laughs> Just a bill out of Harbor Freight. Yeah. One thing good about Vivor, they don't send me a bill. Chingo beer. <laughs> Simon is tipping his waitress. His name is Lance. <laughs> Got to take care of my gringos. Thank you, Simon. It has. All right, Steven, I appreciate you hopping in here, buddy. Come back uh, Tuesdays. We'll pretty much have the same crowd for hours. First uh, going live was this gentleman down here, Al Lunacy, the cheapskate that's trying to knock this girl down on her gas grill. <laughs> uh, he goes live first, and then uh, one that you haven't seen here this evening, he's out um, enjoying life, is uh, Yes, I Can Barbecue. He follows up Al on Tuesdays also. So come back by Tuesday. What's up with Randy Shifter? I haven't even seen him in the chat tonight. Seen Christy earlier. He was in the chat earlier. He's on that uh, out, outage or something, turnaround. Oh, he was in here? I didn't see him. Okay. Yeah, he was in there for a little bit. He does, he's doing that seven-day-a-week thing. Ah, uh, like a shutdown? Yeah. Yeah, I think he says it lasts for... 45 days total. And then he's like a week or two into it. Dang. I don't miss some days. Yeah, the door's kind of expensive, guys. I'm going to have to find it through uh, eBay. Through, uh, eBay, yeah. Uh, 169 bucks. Wow. For yeah, one. Yep. Then the paint's not going to match because the yeah. fiber is going to be faded compared to the new one. Let me check you it. Super Chat wouldn't let me give Lance the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, somebody's got two stainless colored ones for 80 bucks on eBay, so you could just take the, the brown one off one the out. two stainless ones on there. Yeah. That would work. Yeah, that you would found them? Yeah, on eBay. It says for an E three ten. It's two do it's the it's both doors. Really? Mm-hmm. Chingao. I might let me uh see. I don't know if it's the what, same what? exact model. I mean it says E three ten, but I'll all of us in the steer email. Okay, great. <clears throat> oh man. Silver doors, gold hood. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta have gold teeth at the top and silver on the bottom. Yeah, man, I'm, you're gonna see me, man. I'm gonna make a video of this. I'm gonna get gold grills, man. You're gonna see. Me. Yeah. Okay. So it was it. Uh, let's see here. This one's black. Um, oh no, it's not. It's not. I just I just shot you over the email what I found, but okay. But anyway, so what else is going on, boys? We had a lot of pizza and barbecue and welding talk. What else is going on in the world? So you're having that pizza. I mean, you're are you gonna um, can't wait to do it again type thing. Yeah, man, I loved it. Man, I want to see someone do a sub or a stromboli on one of them things. That's what if I ever find one cheap enough, that's the first thing I'm doing. I did a hot pocket. Hot, hot pocket. pocket. <laughs> I did some pita pita bread. That was pretty cool. When it hits that thing, poof, poofs up full of air. Natural separation makes its own little pocket in there. I'm gonna revisit mine at some point. i I might do a stromboli. What's the other one called? One's a stromboli and one's called a uh, something similar. Burrito? No. 
Stromboli. Calzone. Calzone, yeah. There's, Calzone, yeah. That's they call it. It right here, they call them a, um, a Pogue. P-O-A-G rolls. Yeah. They're really good. I want to make yeah. some empanadas. I don't I know if you need a pizza oven. I did on my channel years ago when I first started. And I'm sitting there showing how to roll it and everything. And all you could see on the video was my shoulder. My <laughs> The camera was behind me. You couldn't see crap, man, until I was through it. Here we go. Well, thanks, dude. We couldn't even see how you folded it. Yeah. Hi, pocket. <laughs> this is pretty darn good. I use the same pizza dough on that. The same one I, I did on my pizza thing. It just it it does different when you do it use it for like a hot pocket. It's real thin. It's good though. So you're gonna do your um no train talk tonight. No. You're gonna do an official uh Neapolitan style there, Guggen? Oh yeah. That's probably I would say the easiest thing to make, but I would say for that high temperature, I don't have to worry about the heat getting too high in that. All right. Um, to make those New York pizza, you got to dial it down a little bit. You're cooking at like probably like what, Russ, like 600, 650, as opposed to Neapolitan, which is a lot higher. Yeah, probably 550, something like that. So that's when I'd have to start managing the fire a little bit more. Right now, I just throw enough wood on it. The hydration of your dough, sure. how wet it is, as to how hot you can get it, you know. But 750, that's all my stones are rated for. I could go up to the next better stones and get 850 to 9 out of it. But shoot, man, I'm happy with the 750. It did great on those pizzas, you know. Mm -hmm. Instead of a 60 second pizza, you got a 90 second pizza. Big deal, you know. Yeah. In pinatas, those are Texas chili bean hot pockets. Brisket medic. Here's a gold one right here, Al. It's complete. Yeah, empanadas. That's kind. Of, they look like a dumpling, but they're bigger and you deep fry them. Those mm -hmm. are pretty good. I, I found one for seventy five bucks. The one you sent me, Googie, was the left hand side. I need the oh. right hand side. I thought so, it was for uh, time's sake. Yeah, I found one for seventy five bucks. Um, my mistake. Sorry about that. Maybe you could find another Weber grill that's already got the doors with it. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm sort of looking at. But there's still the or the gold one. Anyway, I mean, I found one for two hundred, but that's in West Virginia, so it ain't going to happen for you. But just get an idea <laughs> what you know what the used ones sort of kind of run, you know, run at. <laughs> yeah. Um, Definitely, man. Um, I'll just keep looking, but I, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with it, man. It's, it's a project, like you said, Lance. Yeah, and, I enjoy and, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, David saying, Al, I got my roulette number ready for them knives. Hell yeah, man. And panadas are, are uh, always good, man. You got the bakery kind of empanadas, and then you got the. Uh, the empanadas that you're going to put some meat, some type of protein in it. So the bakery type of empanadas, you can do pumpkin uh, or you can do uh, what's that other glaze? Uh, it's uh, not pumpkin. Uh, I want to, I want to say it's like lemon glazed uh, insides. Uh, but yeah, empanadas are always good, man. You can never go wrong with an empanada. I made on my pizza oven uh, before I sold it. I made some mini strambolis and I used tortilla, the raw tortilla dough, uh, and it worked, man. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you'll be surprised. It, it really worked. Them yeah, there apple. you go. Fifty fried apple pies at a fast food place. Isn't that an empanada? <laughs> it worked. It, it's so so. Yeah, definitely. Just like an empanada. Sure. Hey, those are it. Where'd you find that, Lance? Weber Grill. Facebook Marketplace. That's door. That's the hood and both doors. 50 bucks. Holy shit. Is that at your place area? Yeah. New Jersey. Yeah. No. Yeah. How far how far away are you from that, Lance? 
uh, hours. I'm trying oh. to see now if he says anything about shipping. Uh, if it adds up, it's available. He doesn't say he does won't ship. It was listed five days ago in Medford, New Jersey. Gee, no. book, I mean, I'll, have, I'll ship them out of here. I got a shipping service. No, but... He would uh, have to be willing to ship them to me. Or if he did all it, that, he might as well just ship them to you. So for $90, you could have everything. You could have that grill plus the lid plus... I can have everything. everything. How much for... How much for everything? But that just Any, flip anything you? you want. That'll Did work, dude. I'll fucking cash app it to you. But I mean, uh, those Did are you see it. A are... Picture just now. Yeah, that's it. That's the same one, dude. Yeah, that's the same one. Damn, that fits some pretty good shape. Or no that's shit. Awesome it is. Then I can have an extra hood. You know. Yeah. What happened to the stand? Did somebody like put it on blocks? Steal it? I'm, I'm gonna send him a question, Al, whether it's, uh, if he'll do any shipping. Okay. I would just say, can you ship one of the doors? How much? You know, you would probably ship ship that door you need for not that much money. You, you wouldn't want to ship the hood. That'd be too much. Yeah, I mean, I, I am seeing now it says door pickup, so he's probably going to say no. Mm -hmm. I would have said, are you willing to ship this? I said, well, please. maybe I he'll read through that, that Lance's way of writing. <laughs> well, I, I if you leave this, Lance, if you leave this live on, uh -huh. and, I and I get this fucking project going, man, I'm going to do a fucking step-by-step -step of how this fucking came together, man. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't take my lives down. Oh, I did lose my Facebook pages now, though. You do my thing. If he would trade for b-hole picks. <laughs> <laughs> you have to... Yeah, I, I said... Uh... He's probably going to come back and say no if I'm saying that pickup. And it's a big item, too, you know. Yeah, it is. If he, if he says no, I would say, how about to ship just the right door? Yeah. Because that's flat. You could ship it really cheaply. Absolutely. If he's willing to do that, man. But I don't right. see why he wouldn't. He might ship it. And the reason, only reason I'm saying that, it's not like somebody with a grill that they're wanting to sell. These are grill parts. It's almost like he might do this sort of thing all the time, you know. He right. might be fun too. Yeah. Man, well, he made them look real pretty, man. They're really shiny. They did. They did. I had to fit. Is there any barbecues in barbecues in uh Jersey? No. Yeah. Uh, Tommy. Yeah. Tommy's right there. Yeah. Forgot about that. He could pick it up, and then you could work out ship, shipping with yeah, I don't know anything about Jersey. I don't know if I don't think it's like Texas where it takes you, you know, four hours to get from one town to the next. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it takes you four know. hours to get from one block to the next. Probably, yeah. <laughs> right next door to New York. Yeah. Well, we'll see, man. Um I'm taking my truck tomorrow to work. And I told that B no uh, that I'd uh, go pick it up after work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now you're gonna have me hunting shit now, Al. Well, shit, I appreciate Lance, it, man. I'm on a mission. Lance, it's I'm my daily me. ritual. I do it every day. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> I'm on marketplace <laughs> every that. day. Lately, I've been looking at marketplace more and more. My son Derek, he checks it all throughout the day, every day. Mm -hmm. you know, wow! Just, yeah, every day, every day. This is my first time ever doing this shit, man. Oh really? Oh man, it's so addictive. I'm on here several times a day. I I, I used I used to do it for guitars, man, but I don't play my guitars as much. I, and my wife gets mad because I got a lot of fucking guitars, man, and I don't play guitar anymore, but. I got them there because they're pretty to look at. And uh, I need to start doing it for grills. Yeah, careful. 
That's a slippery slope, man. I don't even know how many I have now. Yeah, you well, I've got, deals, I've, got, I've gotten rid of like three or four already, man. So I made some room. I really don't sell them unless uh, I really hate it. So I've only sold two grills in the last five years. It, I, I didn't get rid of mine because I hated my grills. It's just that, like, I saw that, like, my uh, a friend of mine, he's always told me, uh, oh, I don't got a burner to make three pass, or I don't got that. And I said, man, I have an extra one. I'll sell you mine. I mm -hmm. mean, if somebody mentions it, I'll say, well, fuck, I can part with this. And then, like, my sister and her and, and my brother in law, they love steaks, man, but they don't have a grill. And I'm like, well, take this one, you know. You so go. I gave them. You know, uh, stuff like that, you know, that comes up. You hear people mm -hmm. talk about it, and I'm like, fuck, man. Well, no, you like know, I, I've sold a grill when I've upgraded something better. So I'm not saying only when I hate things, but usually I can find a reason to hold on to something. Yeah. But all the grills I have right now, I really, I, I like every fucking one of them, dude. I've done mm -hmm. videos, I've used them all, dude. Like it takes me about three months. To come around to a girl I haven't used and have to re like, like if you look at the the latest video I did, which was the uh, old country uh, G two, you can mm. see that in the beginning it's dirty, dude. And then I clean it when I when I when I start cooking on it, and that's when they get their cleaning. You know, mm. I'm talking about the outside. I, I grease it, and you know, so they can get a a nice coat. But mm. I, I I all of them are in rotation, dude. I do that to all of them. Man, I haven't used my poor offset smoker since Thanksgiving. I gotta, I gotta clean that thing and use it. Man, I love all my grills, man. It's a lot of fun using them. Thank God that I have a wife that, man, she she does an excellent job after I use them to to clean them. Really? <laughs> yeah, she you are very fortunate. Yeah, yeah, uh, my wife doesn't do that. My wife just gets pissed off if I don't clean them. <laughs> no, my wife's really cool, man. And she's real supportive, man. She's always told me, you know, you know, a, a grill fits here if you want to buy a new one. I'm like, really? Hey, go on. She's got but, a sister. <laughs> and uh, so I, I, I've, I've been lucky, man. Katrina. I don't know, man. Ricer, what's up, buddy? What's going on, Ricer? What's up, Jeff? Oh, it hasn't been quiet. We've been in a heated debate for a little while. <laughs> Not kidding, man. Yeah, he caught me uh, Facebook marketplacing for Al. Pinche. Pinche yeah, it, it took me. I, I searched every single day for a year and a half until I found that pizza oven. Wow. I found one probably six months ago that was a better deal, but it sold within five minutes. Wow. So you got to be real quick when. Same thing here. Happen. I found I found one for $250. It was just like yours if it had the red top. Yeah. And it was gone. It was gone. Yep. I wouldn't sell mine for under that that one I got when I got it. I noticed I actually come down in price. The the Fontana Manjafuco, the one I got, is the medium size. It's not the biggest one they make, but it was a little over five thousand dollars. I would not attempt to sell mine right now for under twenty five hundred. That's half price from what it was, but you can buy them new now for like 45 or something like that, you know. How heavy is it, uh, Guggen, the one you bought? The one I bought is 350 pounds. Holy shit. Yeah, that's pretty good size. That Fontana I got is uh, 400 and something. I, I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. It's freaking, it's a hoss, man. It's freaking heavy. So how did you do that, Guggen? Is your dad near you? I... My dad is, he's got a, like a vacation home near me on the lake, but he lives a couple hours away. Okay. Um, but anyway, I did it, I did it by myself and, um, brought a, you know, a moving cart, moving dolly, hand truck, and, you know, it was in her driveway. So I just rolled it up on my trailer. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. 
Does it have wheels on the cart? It does, yeah. They're just real small, and it's kind of... Yeah, to get it up on the uh, the ramp on the trailer, it was easier to yeah, put on that. Yeah. But yeah, it, it rolls around on the on the driveway fine on its own. When I got mine from Derek's place to here, my youngest son went with a friend of his who was massive, and they loaded that thing up on a trailer. And when they got here, they just kind of like a wheelbarrow. You pull them handles out, pick up, and mm-hmm. then roll, you know. Yeah. But, uh, parked it right out front. That's where it's still <laughs> sitting. Yeah, mine is still in the driveway. Did I ask you what kind of wood you used? I use whatever I have around. I, I used maple yesterday. Oak would probably be better, but yeah, it, mo- any, mo- any hardwood. Yeah, most yeah, uh, pizza oh, yeah. wood is made of oak from what mm-hmm. they saw on the uh, door. Yeah, you don't get a smoke flavor. That fire is burning so hot. That smoke's going straight up. You don't get any smoke. It's you're after the BTUs more than anything. That's one reason I use the kiln dried when I do pizza because, uh, you know, it burns so well being that dry. Yeah, yeah. The reason I said oak was because it seems to burn for yeah. a long time. It Maple does. for me burns pretty hot, but it burns so quickly that I have to right. put more in it. Right. Oak is a really good choice for a pizza oven. That's what most people use. <clears throat> Up, Chris. Oh, God. East one's here. Yeah, I need to fire mine. Up, probably. It seems like these weeks just get... Every time you look up, another week's done roll by, and things I'm wanting to do, I just never seem to get around to. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, Lance, if, if you can find one, get one, man. You'll, you'll like it. I know you cook pizza once a week. Yeah, wife does once a week. Was well, Friday nights, but now it seems like a shift from Saturday nights, but still getting it. I love it, man. You put that breakfast sausage we get here locally. Mm-hmm. Man, that makes an excellent pizza. Yeah, I bet, man. Huh? I said, I bet. That makes an excellent pizza. Hmm, Quint Nelson in the house. Yeah, he was here earlier. Oh, okay. Kyle Alexander was in here earlier. I was surprised to see him. He said he's been out of the country for weeks. Really? Was he running from the cops? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, because he included his wife or oh, okay. uh, girlfriend, actually. I don't think they ever got married. Amy? Not sure, man. Oh, that's got to be the biggest microphone I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I think it's maybe it's smart. just the, maybe it's just the way you have it placed. I don't think it's any bigger than mine. It's just that it's like closer to the camera than you are, so it looks big. Yeah, and then I did move my camera uh, pretty close to the uh, mic. It used to I be further you. up. Two yoders for sale. Two thousand dollars a nut. It's all about the angle of the dangle. The I'm hearing the a hum. Is there a hum? Somebody have a hum? Mm, no. Mm, I think East no. one's got a hummer. He'll give you. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't hear anything. I was trying to find the brand name of that one pizza oven I was trying to think of. I I just typed in pizza ovens and everything pops up of these little portable uni type. There's a Forno. Didn't you say yours was a Forno? Forno, a yeah. Forno Ventizia or something. I don't know. It's it's not like it's not just a Forno. It's something Damn, else. That's, that's that's like a brick one right there. No, yeah. I don't have that. Yeah, I was trying to find that one uh, brand. It's pretty popular. Let me just type in large, large pizza ovens. See what that does. Pro Forno. Uh, Bravo. 
turns up porno bravo. All right, but that still ain't the brand I'm looking for. Pretty popular hit. This one has been around here forever. I don't even know if it's just one of the ones where he didn't take down the uh, ad. This is the one I started looking at. There's Fontana. You know, Fontana was the very first company to ever make what they call portable pizza ovens that's not stationary. Or you can make these stationary too. But Let's uh, see what you got, Lance. Um, this, one's, this one's at an actual restaurant. What's the brand of it? I mean, it looks pretty legit. Uh, El For Fornio? Fornino? El Fornino? Hmm. I-L-F-O-R-N-I-N-O. Yeah, I see it now. Thousand bucks. Yeah, that ain't cheap. It's been there for a good bit. Well, that's a... Let's see here. Why am I not finding this? It's a very popular... Uh, looks like that's about twenty five hundred dollar pizza oven new. So right. must be must be pretty decent. I mean thousand that's still still pretty pricey. Another one. They're Vin Vinitz Vinitzia Pronto five oh one wood burning. Yeah, it's the brand I have, I think. Yeah, it is. This one here? Yeah. We're going to show you in a minute. Present. Oh, what did it do? Flip over? I still see it. The one that's on fire? Has a flame in it? Yeah. yeah 1800 Okay. Huh. Must have just flipped over. Must not close the other page out. Let me do this. Nice. Yeah. yeah, it's the brand I have, but I think that one's a little bit bigger than the one I have. You said it was the Pronto? It might be the same one I have. I don't know. Got Cook Shack coming. Stay going, Jeff. Alpha. I couldn't think of that for nothing, but it's an Alpha pizza, and that's the one I'm thinking of. They're pretty pricey, too. They came out for residential pellet. The cooking, the Cook Shack did? Mm, you know those things? Ones. Those things are so awesome, man. But I've seen some of the food trucks here that have the, that kind of uh, oven, and they people here aren't appreciative of that kind of pizza. That it turns out, man, it, they they just seem to never oh, stay in business. Like it, man. It's it's better than any pizza joint. Fuck yeah. My wife would love me if I got one. She would absolutely love it. Oh, shit, man. So I guarantee you she'd use she'd, one up and save a ton of money. Yeah. For a, a, a really good one, you know. A lot of ones you see used are just, they look like a piece of crap because they didn't cover them or anything. Just left them outside. Mine ain't covered, but I, I promise you, the only thing I can potentially see happening is that red barn color on the top. It they can now, eat out eventually. Yeah. You know, but right now it still looks like it, it has, you know. Yeah, well, these probably aren't as nice as those ones I'm seeing. Is the stuff like I, when Guggen said something about getting that oven, I said, you know, I would, ones I see around here, are like the Lowe's, Home Depot, and uh, yeah. and you got to order them, you know, from the box stores. But uh, there's a place called uh, BJ's, BJ's Wholesale Club. You can get it from them too. Two thousand dollars new. Yeah, but you can order it. You, sh you, you shop there a lot. Mine's got that snack yeah. that comes up, and bet you do. Up, it's sitting up under the roof line, but I can go out after a bad rainstorm, take that front cover off, and it's just as dry as it can be in that pizza oven. It never gets water inside of it. So, All right. 
yeah hurricane might would blow some in there but that'd be about it which is going to my garage if we have a hurricane gas pizza oven what he's looking at mm -hmm. yeah simon they they've got a uh full I set of bj store i had an option when i got mine they asked me if i wanted wood or gas <laughs> boy that gas is very tempting but i'm like eh. I'm gonna go with wood, keep it traditional. So that's what I did. It which ain't no big deal. It just you gotta wait a little while. It might take 45 minutes to get that oven up to the temp you're looking for. But once you do, and if you keep feeding it a split <laughs> as you need to, you're you can hold them temps in there. I I, I, I might have a uh one of those smaller ones, uh pizza ovens that have the L it's like an L frame uh, burner uh, but it's propane it's a propane uh, I might I might I might go for that uh, but the cool thing about it it has a really cool rollover like the flame mm -hmm. uh, on that yeah. L flame so yeah. so you got that L flame you know uh, so you just rotate that pizza to that L flame you know it's as you get it going, you know, but uh, I don't know. I will see if it happens. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with the gas pizza oven. Like Russ is saying, at those temperatures, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get flavor from the wood. Yeah, you're not. It's all about the heat. Gas would be so much simpler, you know, and be honest with you, I've regretted not going with gas a time or two, but, and I think that's what prevents me from doing more pizzas. Like, yeah, I got to go start a fire and, you know, with gas, just hook a bottle to poof while I'm in there making my pizza. This sucker could be heating up. It would be a better solution. Yeah. And I had a choice. They would have sent me either one, you know, but which I don't care. The wood's great. You know, it's just, it's easy to go get a bottle of propane and have to go to Academy and buy wood. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Probably last a lot longer, too. So I guess that's something to consider. So it's really not that big of a difference i mean so now btus is all you're after regardless how you get there because you're not putting the smoke flavor on that pizza you're just not it's not intended to smoke a pizza it's just that's a fuel source it's so freaking hot it's not putting out any smoke and what little bit there is is rolling around right off the top and out the flu it, it, it smells better outside than when it what you're tasting yeah, well, you're tasting yeah. pizza, you know. I've never detected a smoke flavor on any pizza I've ever done. Yeah, it's burning so hot. There's no smoke coming out of there that you can see. Right. Um, and you're only cooking the pizza for a minute and a half, two minutes. So even if there was any chemicals, yeah. Yeah, like what Brisket's saying, I don't up. know. And if you do got some smoke laying around top, that pizza's on the deck. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's all about the heat. It has nothing to do with the smoke. But uh, gas is a great option for anybody considering getting one, you know. Yeah, I wish mine had both options. I wish it had a burner that was removable. Yeah, I was saying the Alpha has a hybrid. I think that I've means seen, both. Yeah, I've seen some of them do have the capability. Yeah. The Alpha is a good fit, too. It's got a great <clears> reputation, <throat> just like uh, Fontana does, you know. Sure. But what I like about well, those kits, or at least mine, is actually made in Italy. Now they got American distributors and all that ship it, but mm -hmm. they they're built over there and they're shipped over here for the American, um, for the American buyers. They're set up over here too. But yes. Yeah. Oh well, man. Y'all got me wanting to go fire that thing up now. Man, it was so good last night. You better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got me wanting to go out there and fire that thing up. Ain't got one to fire up. Damn it. <laughs> You've been wanting a pizza oven for a while. I have. I'm just too cheap. I buy, I'm like Google and I keep looking for that deal. And I'm not going for one of those little unis or that thing that Tommy did a review on. I think... Um, uh Paul Detmert has one too and I just just watch him try to get the pizza out of there and the thing's shaking back and forth I'm just ain't no way yeah, I, I've never wanted one like that I read a meme the other day that really hit home to me it's like 
go ahead and buy that boat and quit trying to be the richest man in the cemetery. You know, in other words, you can't take that money with you. <laughs> Just enjoy it while you're here without hurting yourself, of course. Spend every dime I got the day I die. It'll all be gone. All of it. Like I got a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, Russ. I don't agree, brother. Any, at any temp, the elements are produced. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm telling you, you cannot taste smoke. Quit getting technical. That is burning so freaking hot. And plus, it's dome. You're not going to taste smoke. I'm not saying that it don't put out smoke. Of course it does. It's wood burning. That pizza is never going to sit. Where's I, don't, I don't know. I I do agree. When I put beans on my pizza, I do taste the smoke really absorb into those chili <laughs> beans. So it's pretty good. I guess that's a, that's a good point too. So not even if your toppings, or if you like wet toppings or something like that, no smoke from that either. Getting caught on that, huh? I oh know. my god! Getting all technical. Proof is in the flavor, buddy. <laughs> you have to excuse brisket he lives in a camper <laughs> he's exactly. probably enjoying life though fishing he's got to worry about the damn noise going over his head pop, 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 pop. Lance gets my gabby when I die yeah I know it man I can't uh... I'm sure you'll be outliving me just because you all right, Zach, you come on down here to Mississippi, and I will personally make you a pizza, and you tell me if you taste smoke in it. I'm just saying, I can't think of nothing more disgusting, to be honest with you, than a pizza that tastes like it's got smoke in it. I, I don't want that. I want my pizza to taste like it come out of a pizzeria, and that's what they deliver. <laughs> yeah, I like to have a fucking river. That'd be nice. How does your pizza oven cook, uh, Zach? Smoke? No smoke? <clears throat> Absolutely. Have a lot to do with the smoke. I smokers, when they're when they're in the heat up mode, that's the reason the older style anyway would not produce smoke. It was only when it, after that completed cycle would you start seeing, seeing the smoke roll out. As soon as it kicked back in, the smoke would disappear. I'm not saying there's no presence of smoke. I'm just saying you're not going to taste it, and you don't. <laughs> Russ, don't don't pay attention. Oh, I know. They're just messing with you. I know that. It, it, well, Zach's not messing with you, but just don't pay attention. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> They'll I fight don't. you to the death. <sighs> 700 degrees in a Kamado on a pizza, you end up with burnt crust. Oh. Unless you have the right dough on there. That's how oh, I used to back. So when I first started my YouTube channel. I found five, five to 550, a lot better temperature on pizza on a Kamado Joe. Red. Who's, on who's red? Who's Do red? I? Who's red? Nigel's saying need to get red on the panel. Need to get Hope red he's on the panel. Okay. Oh. I think he's talking about the military guy. Uh, I can't think of it. Red's Pizzeria or something like that. I don't know if he ever made one or not. That's my talk. That guy, he was getting ready to open up a pizza joint. Oh, but, okay. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard from that guy in a long time. Wood fire. How do you get to smoke time. pizza crust? See? Quince yeah, that all, that all depends on the, the crust. If you got a Neapolitan style, absolutely 900 would definitely be the fastest and the best. That's really what they consider true Neapolitan cooked at those temperatures. And it's all I got to do with the hydration of the dough is to how much heat it can handle for how long. I actually read an article on that, Zach, where they said used two stones and he actually just used a a, a bolt 
with double nuts on it to just put an air gap between the two stones. I've, I've got a I've got a pizza stone like that. I used to. It was a two piece that stacks with an air gap under, and I bought it for a Kamado, and uh, that does help when you get that yeah. air as an insulation between the pizza stone. Then put that on top of it. You can run them pretty hot like that. I've forgotten about that. Russ, I have so many questions for you. It's not funny. <laughs> Al. Yeah, I agree, Jeff. Sorry, it's very large and would be too difficult to box and ship. Oh, okay. I'm waiting for Jeff to do that uh, pellet grill pizza. I've seen pictures of him doing it. It looked like it turned out really good. I'd like to see a video on that. I just replied back. Okay, I have one with needing a door, so maybe he'll say... She's saying everything is too large to ship. Maybe, oh, a door? I'll ship you a door. Would you be interested in just a door, Al? Hell yeah. That'd work, man. Uh, this is the right side door. I used to burn my gaskets out on my Kamados. I'd try to run that real high heat like that. Next thing you know, I'm buying new felt gaskets for it. All right, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you, buddy. We'll see you, Dave. He's got almost one terabyte of B-roll on pizza. Holy crap. Dave, I'll be by uh, to buy some more of that uh, brisket rub by Arnie. Red is living in Ireland now. He's a spook contractor now after his life in the Marines. Ah, okay. I actually did a video for him one time. It was some sort of benefit. It was a stupid video. I did a freaking sandwich like this long, and it was done with shark, shark meat. And that video didn't do crap, and I don't know. I just, it's still up there. But it was for him. Chris is saying he was a, a state worker. Huh? Chris is saying he was worked for a state department. Hmm. Oh man, I think yeah, I'm going to call it two guys. Red um, Banks. That's his name. Red Banks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to call it Lance. You too. All right, Al. Appreciate you, buddy. We'll see you uh, guys uh, on the next one um, if you guys get a chance Tuesday night. Tuesday. Yeah, I just replied back to him and said, okay. Hey, thanks for the reply. I had to ask. So yeah, let me know, Lance, if, if he does go for it. Uh, get, I'll be, uh, I mean, call me whenever tomorrow uh, after 8 a.m. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be there at work. Uh, if he does, you know, bite, that'd be great, man. Uh, but hopefully uh, I do get it tomorrow. And uh, I saw those things. I didn't mean to cut you off, Al. I saw those at Lowe's just yesterday a pizza steel. Oh, I'm seeing uh, brisket's gonna get a G2 eventually. Great, man. That's it's a fucking hell of a grill, man. I mean, a smoker, man. It's the easiest offset I've ever used, dude. And it's actually, um, man, for being the, the price it is, dude, it's. It's up there, man, with the, the, the great offsets, man. It's it's easy to use, man. I, that's all I can say, man. And and you can see me running it at 400 and, and, and uh, <laughs> no, I'm going for years. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on over, man. We'll get drunk. But, yeah, man, thanks, Lance, and thanks, Russ, man, and, and Googie. Uh, thanks for the idea of, of, of looking for the for, – me turning into a cheapskate and lowballing that girl. Uh, but but I'm still going to get it. But hey, man, you guys take care and we'll see you hopefully on Tuesday. Yeah, Al, I appreciate you trying to jump in here with us and not trying, but trying to help out. 
by jumping in here with me and uh much appreciate it okay Bye, buddy Thanks. you take care you too guys we'll see you later you know, I was sitting there reading the comments about him being a military contractor. It reminded me of a guy that used to do YouTube videos, and I don't know if he still does or not, uh, but he was always in a place that he could not tell you. He, he did something similar. I'm talking about, uh, what was his channel name? Cooking with Phil, or uh, what was the name of it, Jeff? You remember Daddy Cooks, I think? Something like that black guy. His name is Phil. He used to pop up on a lot of these lives. I haven't heard from him in probably two or three years now, but yeah. he was a military uh contractor or or contracted by the government, went to places that he couldn't divulge or whatever, Middle East, all these different places, you know. Yeah. I'm yeah, Daddy of you. Cooks, Phil. That's him. I wonder if he hit in that red guy. It, it, did he did he sell a big, huge, I mean, fully loaded trailer, comp trailer? Who? About that red's guy. Oh, I don't I'm know. Why is that? Why that name sounds so familiar? I have someone that works in the State Department. Yeah, the case is TDS. Contract. Phil, he's from PA, and he pretty much shut his channel down. Okay. But that explains it. He used to pop up in these lives a lot and uh, did videos all the time with his daughters and stuff. That's old YouTube. Yeah, he's a great guy. Hmm. This made me think of him. Hi, guys. I think I'm going to hop off and call it a night. Yeah, yeah. I, need, I need to finish this video up. I've got to get it uploaded so they can look at it. Tomorrow's the deadline. So, Yeah, well, I'm on here longer than I thought it'd be. You know, I thought it would be a solo show, and I figured I might be able to push out an hour or two. But here we are, just 13 minutes shy of four hours. Just one more beer. Just one more beer. <laughs> yeah, it was good catching up. I'm glad that I can, can uh, kind of get in these lives a little bit more now. Things have gotten a little bit easier with the baby, so it's been good. She's sleeping through the nights and all that? Pretty much, yeah. For the most part. <laughs> But all right, guys. Well, good all chatting right. with y'all, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. All right, AJ. Have a good one. Yeah. I thought that was, I remember I saw that. I said, like, Why does that name sound familiar? Man, that trailer he had was loaded, it had everything you could possibly want on it. It was only a few years ago, a couple yeah. of years ago. I don't ever see nobody like that in my feed no more. I don't know why. I guess they just quit making videos. I don't know. All right, brother Steven. You take T care. T-Roy Cooks is moved. He's a great guy also. And James and Justin and CJ and Daddy Dutch. Uh, the list is endless. Awesome community. Yeah, take it easy, Racer. T-Roy was... Uh, all right, Quint. T-Roy was making videos here just three or four months ago. Then he kind of shut down again. I don't know what's going on. Thought he might be coming back, but guess not. I had a comment about seeing what I was doing rather than me. Any thoughts on how to respond? I had a comment about seeing what I was. What? I had a comment about seeing what I was doing. Rather than me, any thought I, what you're saying. I don't get you, Josh. I've seen I know you do, Zach. I, you don't, you can't get me upset, man.
All right, Zach. You're a starting running back for the football team. As many times as you drop that elementary. Oh, yeah, I saw that. He just, he just sent it to me. Yeah, he turned around and dropped it again. That's a 10 yard. <laughs> I'll have to watch it later. Hope T Roy is okay. As far as I know, he is. He just put a video out last week, week before. Oh, he did? I missed yeah. that one. Man, I have subscribed to so many channels since I started this DIY. Thing to where I can't find anybody now. Everybody's getting lost between all the stuff I got feeding to me. Yeah. It used to be all cooking videos. Now it's a mixture of everything. Bruce Cephas. Yep, yep, yep. I was my video on seasoning my offset. It was my video. On season my offset. offset. So what was his initial comment? I'm going back to it. I now. had a comment about seeing what I was doing rather than me. Any thoughts on how to respond? I had a comment about seeing what I was doing. Seasoning rather, an offset. Rather than well, what did the comment say? That might help me. Rather than on the how to respond <clears throat> who's that other person there jeff i didn't recognize one person it's really surprising that you're a starting running back for the football team as many times as you drop that out never mind <laughs> No, next step is we gotta put the Pharisee fumble again. Never mind, that's your boy. I, I just He's gonna screenshot it. Was that that was a Beavis butthead? Oh or was that one of his boys that did that? Yeah. Uh Zach's gonna post a picture. Hang tight, Russ. I'll screenshot it. Is he gonna send it to you to where you can show it? I don't know. I remember him having some issues before on this channel. I don't remember what it was. I mean, if it's derogatory or whatever, just either don't answer it or if it bothers you, delete it, block him, and move on. Well, thanks for that, uh, Nigel. It's kind words. I think it I see him over Sheena a lot. You hang over Sheena's, Nigel? If it's a legit comment, then I'll let you know what I would say. Do I have your number? You should. Pretty sure. <clears throat> Yeah, I just didn't recognize Jensen. He's got a haircut or something. He looked different in that video, but I, I kind of figured it out. Is that that Weber you were you were uh, talking about? Is that what y'all putting together? What's up, Lep? What's up, Lep? Uh, Josh, I am not seeing your phone number in here. I thought for sure I had your phone number. I up for the assembly part okay yeah it is too all right here we go oh it's too big i can't shrink it if i I can't can shrink it down or cut off if I. You, don't if have I to you. you can airdrop it too, can you? Oh, I'll send that to you, can I? You want to? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, watch, watch the magic of Apple. <laughs> no, I don't have Apple. <laughs> oh, damn it, son.
All right, Russ. Fake I'm appled waiting. it. Fake appled it to you. I'm waiting on it. Right? Yes, sir. How did he do that? Because I didn't see his name in my contact. All right, let me uh, save. Let me airdrop. All right, it's sent. Let me share my screen. Present. Share screen. Oh, I got to open it up first. That's right. Yeah, I do, too. I just skipped over. I was trying to look too fast. Holy crap. I've been downloading a lot of crap into this. Uh... Here it is right here. Okay, some of it's going to be cut off, it looks like, but that might be the way he took the picture window. I hadn't read this shit either. All right, I share. Didn't even read. Yep. Can you, you see it? Yeah, All you right. had the same problem I have. Would have been nice to see a little more of what you're doing instead of the camera pointing at you. That's one of them guys that I go right here where them little dots are, and I click on that, and I block that sucker, and I delete the comment. Just that simple. They ain't got nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing at all. I've been told that before. I've been told I talk too much. I've been told everything you can think of. Would have been nice. Now, I asked Jeff Rice what he would say. <laughs> I already know what he would do. Would have been nice to see a little bit more of what you're doing instead of the camera pointing at you. Yeah, I've been, I've gotten them the same comments, man. And that's how I handle it. Sometimes I just let it go. I don't do anything. But sometimes if it's real derogatory they will be blocked and the comments deleted. Just that simple. Yeah, dead broke barbecue. I love internet fighting. It, it just really depends on how you want to handle it, but I just told you how I would handle it. With that comment, I probably wouldn't do anything because comments do help the algorithm, you know, so don't delete it unless it's very derogatory. There's some advice there or, you know, what do you think, Lance? How would you handle that? Um, I don't know. I think I just take the up road and say, I'll try better next time. Go and skip next, next one. Oh, I wouldn't. Even, oh, hell no. <laughs> I just don't, <laughs> I just avoid it, you know, it's a, and then, cause you'll probably never see the guy again. Probably. Yeah. There are your options. Either let it be, or you can say what you wanted to say. I just thought I'd ask someone else. Just thought I'd respond and say, just watch the parts you like. I wouldn't even give them the benefit of that. Sometimes I think it irks people more if you act like you never even read it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's true, too. That's true. Because if Not you delete it, then they know you read it and they got to you. Right. You know, there's multiple ways of looking at that. Yeah, that's what... Uh, Nigel, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah, that comment is tame. He's not really being derogatory or anything. It's just he's just been a little bit of a butt about it. But uh yeah. your Thank call you, really, man. you just overlook it and don't even give him the benefit, you know, might be the best thing. I just didn't want, I wouldn't want to start the pissing contest, you know, on my channel. Yeah. Oh, I'm you like Jeff, so every now and then, if they rub me wrong, I'll come back at them, but most of the time I don't. Most of the time I just either overlook it, move on. 
that's kind of like my Facebook page over there. I don't even look at the comments no more. There's so many derogatory comments on Facebook. I just leave them. I don't give the people benefit of me even reading them. Just say what you want to say. I don't care. Just show me the money. Yeah, I saw some on one of your videos here. Like, oh, someone saying it was burnt. That ain't smoke. That's burnt. I was like, God damn, that was a Facebook. Oh, I, I did. I did comment back to that one. And what oh, did I say? He's a flip. I, I said, uh, do you know, do you know anything about barbecue? Then I said, I, I didn't think so. It was a woman, a female. Yeah, I read that one. But that's the first one I've read in a long time. It just happened to pop up. Right, there we go again. This is true. If you, you don't like it, barbecue, if it slapped you right in the mouth, lady. Anyway. Yep. Can't please them all. Can't please them all. I no, ain't never going to please all of them. The bigger you get, the worse that gets, too. I usually say thank you, you know, or something like that. I think that gets them just as much as it does to ignore them. Oh, I'll say that sometimes. Thanks for watching. Every comment helps deliver right. this video to more and more people. I really appreciate the time it took you to write this comment. You know, just total opposite from what they kill them with kindness. You know, that right. works. Too. Yeah. Luckily, I don't get ever left. I get a ton of them on Facebook. Like I said, I don't even go there. But on YouTube, I had that under control. Every now and then, it's like when a full moon or something's just right, you'll get two or three in the same day. It's like, God, what the hell, man? Everybody's been a, a peckerhead tonight. Yeah. You can't do yeah, your exactly, Jay. That's, that's just part of it. I get some really strange comments sometimes. It's just like, who is this person? It's not derogatory. It's nothing against. A lot of times it don't even pertain to the video. You know, it's just some off the wall crap. What is wrong with this person? Anyway, but yeah, Lance, I think I'm going to jump off of here. I've got one more scene to end this video with, and I'm going to watch it and watch our big screen, see how it looks. And if everything's good, I'm going to go ahead and upload it tonight. I won't be able to release it till, uh they have a chance to look at it. I appreciate you also, uh, Russ. I really wasn't worrying about, you know, uh, 805 said he was just wasn't into it. And I was like, well, you know, I still got other people. Then I uh, asked Simon if he could I add that ice pack to our thumbnail. And he replied back. He says, I can. He says, um, let me see if I can do it. And he says, but he's not going to be able to help because he was going out of town or going out tonight. And I was like, well, we still got Russ. He might be around. Randy might pop in. I said, I really wasn't worried about it. And I truly only figured I'd be on here for like an hour or two because I just wasn't feeling it myself. But yeah, getting here, start talking to people and having a good time. And then and then John L. pops in at the last minute. Thank you, John L. But then, um, you know, you just start having a good time. And next thing you know, you run your mouth so much, it's four hours later. Well, I can drink another beer if you want to drink one more round. Oh, I don't care, Russ. I mean, if you want to get on there and go to bed or do your editing thing, I understand that. That's your moneymaker. Yeah. It ain't no biggie. If I had to, I could finish it in the morning. I've already done the uh, voiceover part. I just got to... Let me see what the hell this is. Uh, it just disappeared. Let me check it on this one. Somebody just left a comment on YouTube. <laughs> Nigel saying let's party. One subscriber. Oh, I got 501 subscribers on that new channel. Yeah, I commented 501 subscriber. Pretty easy. MJ Hoss. That's two. 
Huh? That's two tonight, then. Yeah, it's two tonight. That ain't bad. I've only been, what, about a month and a half, 500? Yeah, it took me two years to get to a thousand, two and a half years. Oh, uh, well. Now, now I'm eight months in past that, and I'm and I still can't get past 200. I'm stuck at 1,200. Well, I'm telling you, man, if you ever do decide to make a third channel, you ought to, I mean, I know you know how to do all this drywall stuff and all this things like that. I've watched some of them channels and, and man, there was this one guy, he's very popular on our Hughes channel, you know, just throwing it out there. Right. What's the left side? I know they had ketchup that came out of a mayo also. Plus, yep. you know automotive, yep. like when you're out there doing this, that, and the other on your cars, film that crap, man. Yeah. Show everything you're doing. Yeah, hopefully the weather's starting to get, starting this week. It looks like it's been, a, I feel like it's been 20 years since I've been in the chat. You were popped in here a couple weeks ago, but we all see you right to tail end. Yeah. That's up to you, Russ. I mean, oh. We got oh, <laughs> one more beer, one more one beer. More beer. That's oh, you're like you're like ten behind, dude. What's up, Simon? Hey, brother, what's up, man? What does it say? Hey, who fucked no, this? Yeah. yeah, I messed that up. Hold on, let me fix that. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to do that right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, edit name. Yeah, no doubt. The slush machine is in route. Pina coladas, hurricanes, mudslides. We're fixing to have some fun on these loves. All you right. Slush machine? Yeah, it's uh, the table came in yesterday. I'm just waiting on the machine itself. And we're going to be making some frozen adult <laughs> beverages soon. <laughs> hey, and yo, I'm trying. <laughs> well, try stuff. It's been two nights of uh, of drinking. I haven't drank this much in forever. So, uh, speaking of adult beverages, I'm down to two beers. There goes one of. Them. I got one left in my refrigerator, and I don't know if I'm gonna want to drink it. That's right. Like throwing up. <laughs> Modell. I got no more Modellos. I got more Budweisers in there. Now. Yeah, I had uh, I had Budweisers tonight, and oh, well, last night um, at the comedy show, I had. Um, they were selling 25 ounce bottles or uh, cans. That's how they were selling. So uh, that's what I bought. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, and man. I, I, can, I cannot imagine not having beer in my life. <laughs> At 65, I don't Shoot. care anymore. If I was going to quit, I would quit 40 years ago. <laughs> you know? I think I had like five or six of those last night. And pff, I don't know how many I had tonight. It's like... Yeah. Third bottle, that stuff must be good. Nigel, hit us up again. Thank you, Nigel. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> I tried yeah. to hit you three times, but uh, uh, Super Chat wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> uh, is that right? <laughs> I was trying to give you the middle finger, but it wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> Thank you again, Nigel. Appreciate that. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Simon almost... <laughs> he was in here earlier. Did you see him, uh, Simon? Who? George. He came in for about 10 minutes. Nah. He, he was on the panel? Yeah. You could tell he was hurting. <laughs> you asking me to put a put an ice pack on his logo, like, okay, I can do that, but... Uh, I just had to draw it real quick, so it's not the like the best thing in the world. But oh no, I thought it was perfect. That was perfect. I thought like I was just thinking like a copy paste thing, but you yeah. even you even placed it on there just like I was thinking about, like right on the corner. You know, it's like yeah. oh my head. I, I was trying to droop it more, but it wouldn't let me do it. So like oh, <laughs> I'm a grandpa now, and his dad says that's why he won't come around. But his mom brings him over, so I got to do what I got to do to see the boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's one of those things, yeah. A friend of mine took grandmother to 
some boys from her son, but the mother won't let them see him forever and ever. So it's like whenever they can sneak him out to uh, go see their grandma, you know, she 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 shares every moment with, with them. It's been like, I think the kids are like 10 years old now or 10, 11. Yeah. And she hardly ever gets to see him because the mother won't let him see the, the grandmother for whatever reason. Well, you know, the other thing you got it's what I always think my wife and I always talked about is that, you know, is there going to be some resentment and anger, you know, from holding him back for all those years? There's going to be some, some drawback. I mean, it's like, Hey, Lance, sir, Skinner farms, Josh, right? Yeah. Uh, he said, can you send Russ my number? Lance, can you send? Yeah, you you can do that, or you can send him my number. Either way. So what does I miss? Oh, nothing much, man. Just same old, same old. <laughs> I saw Al, Al up in here like uh, he was a. Uh, Unofficial Mexican for tonight. <laughs> yeah, he was. He jumped <laughs> yeah, right in now. Anybody that's never been in here were probably looking for a Mexican. I guess I had to fill in. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little chalk tall in me. I, that might not pass as a Mexican. Though. <laughs> a little bit of color in you. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, m mainly red. A token Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching uh, Longmire again for about like the third time, watching that all over again. And yeah. they were showing this thing where they went to like this uh, Indian tribal thing, you know, and there was a girl in there. I recognize her from another show where she played a Mexican, but in this show, she plays Cheyenne. I like, they are pretty closely, you know, they resemble mm -hmm. Native uh, American Indians and Mexicans is very close, really. That Let's see. Here we go. All right. I got it, Josh. Uh, Rance is the I, new Kent address book contact. All right. I'm going to send him a message. I think it's because we get I always get confused. We get confused with each other, calling each other different names. <laughs> so I think that is. I think I'm finally about ready to try to sleep without alcohol again. All right, Josh, fight on, brother. Just push on. Just got to push through it. Yeah, I just sent you a text, Josh. If you're still yeah, here, yeah. that's my number. Yeah, not sure what's going on, but. I mean, I, I don't deal with alcohol and stuff. And it's like, I'll drink whenever I want, but not where I cannot stop or anything. So, yeah. No, I've never had that kind of problem with family. I don't guess it's like this little bottle I've had for like three months open, and it's like that much still in it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you're doing good. I don't drink hard stuff that often. But like with that slush machine, I love those kind of drinks. Those frozen drinks. Yeah, those are my nemesis, though. I mean, yeah, I know. <laughs> All that sugar and alcohol mix. Holy crap. Yes, sir. See how uh, I do this here. Good in here. Yeah. I'm sure you will, Lip. <laughs> Knowing you, man, it's like, I'm sure you will. You'll make your own fun. I need to put that number in my uh, contacts. This it work? Info. Yeah. Uh, create new contact. I, I mean, is Josh, can anybody tell if Josh is blue or not? 
and I'm just going to put uh, Skinner Farms on the deck. Well, he hasn't said anything in, since uh, 10 13, so. I think, Actually, nope, he says he's not blue. I just made him a moderator. Oh, this is, yeah, this is your channel, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got you saved, uh, Josh. You open up another tab, and then you click on his name, and then it says add to moderator. That's what I did. I'm afraid to refresh him. Will I lose the page? Oh. Well, this is um, Lance's live, so you'll have to wait next week for George's. Right, but I just tried to make him a mod, and I thought I did it. But it's still black on my end. Are you on YouTube? I went to YouTube. Let me try it again. <laughs> nah, I'm just tired of partying for like two days in a row. The bar I went to, it's all beer. There's like no liquor. <clears throat> Anybody here from uh, Randy? Mm, Lance said he was up in here at the beginning. Didn't you say Lance? There it is. Yeah, there you go. It's got a wrench. I seen Randy I could, a little bit. Yeah, I, I used the phone. Yeah, I could have done that. I heard. I seen Randy a little bit in the Discord, but other than that, I haven't really seen a whole lot of them. He was in here, uh, very beginning. He and Christy. Yeah, I mean, I saw Chris out for whatever reason. I didn't see uh, Randy. I think. Um, yeah, he was here. I, I don't even think he was home yet. He was on his way home, or just got home. Oh, he's working today. Seven days a week, yeah. Ooh, that sucks. I thought he had one day, one day off. Please don't mind me. I'd like to be different. Many thanks. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey. Kent was in here too. I was waiting for Christy and Kent to go out a little bit, but they were behaved. <laughs> they behaved themselves. They might be tired. No problem, Josh. Just there push go. through it, buddy. It's all you gotta do. Stop thinking about it. Just push through it. Who hasn't made a, a video of the eclipse? Oh, right? uh, hey. uh, Randy sent me a really nice video of the eclipse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I saw that video. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That, that was, was hilarious. Funny, I, I saw that. I was trying to figure out if that was him or not. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. Surprised I was able to log in. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely funny. I was like, what the hell? There was so much build up to that eclipse and everything. And I don't think Mississippi got but just a little wedge of it, but mm -hmm. it was freaking cloudy that whole day. Everywhere, everywhere. And, yeah, uh, so Texas, 
Texas had the, like the best view of it, and it was cloudy all through Texas. And my wife had read that article about possible solar flares and knocking yeah. out cell service, and she went and bought like three or four cases of water and all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we can always drink the water. Yeah. yeah. It didn't do anything. Christy posted pictures, and I was at first, I was like, you know, having a Lance moment. I was like, damn, how the hell did she, how the hell did I miss that eclipse? I've been sitting here all damn day. <laughs> then I thought about the time differences, but they got right dark. And around here, it barely got dark at all. It looked like a cloudy day. Yeah. yeah but I couldn't tell if we got any piece of it or not because it was already kind of dark outside. Yeah. Here fact, they... I didn't think about it till like noon or something. I went outside and looked and. I can see out this window right here above me. I mean, the blinds are closed, but I can tell if it's dark or light outside, you know. And yeah, here it got dark enough for the the street lights to come on. Did and it? Everybody's uh like security lights. Uh, there were like uh lights in there. They all were on for like yeah. four minutes. <laughs> Left you get any of that um that uh what's it? I can't remember what train company awarded all those people all that money in Ohio for that chemical spill. Taking my short. Or they just award some people money. People. I, I don't know if he was close to that or not. 500 people at a food truck. Holy That's a lot God. of people. <laughs> that, was, that was a good day. Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I ran into a food truck today. I didn't take any video, but uh, it's called a Smoking Joe's uh, 210. So, every area got 210 for San Antonio by Smoking Joe's uh, Pit Barbecue 210. Is that right? Yeah, 600 million dollars is what they settled on. It was named Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue 10, yeah, 210. 210 area called 210, yeah. Huh. Uh. So that was on uh, some guy posted that in a, a train chat. Left, and I was like, "Damn, some crazy money!" So is Joe still thinking about opening a brick and mortar? Or is he pretty much just done with it for now? No, I think he's still interested in opening up a brick and mortar. Okay, he's been quiet, man. I'm. Don't yeah, see I, just I don't do the TikTok thing, so he might be live over there more. But yeah, he he goes there uh, at least once a week on on TikTok, and also on uh, Instagram every once in a while. Uh, it's over way hour away. Ugh. Over an hour away, didn't get any of the BS. Yeah. Joe was a TikToker now. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew he probably had a TikTok, but undoubtedly that's not his main gig because he's done so well on YouTube. I don't know, unless he's feeling a little bit of pinch, you know, like you've talked about several times, you know, about, you know, not really. No, the views, yeah, man. Yeah. Mine, mine typically go up this time of the year, and it is not as much as I would like to see it, but it's just going up from old content that's still yeah. getting views. I can't, I can't land a decent video out there anymore. So it's like do whatever, man. I don't even care no more, you know. Quint says he's getting close to the brick and mortar. Left says there's more money over TikTok right now. Yeah, I mean. TikTok. If um, if I put a short on on YouTube, and the same short on on TikTok, I get way more views on TikTok than I do on uh, YouTube. I don't guess I gave TikTok a fair chance. I started that one. It was the summer of twenty one, and it was after I come back from Memphis in May. And Brian Ducharme kind of got me thinking about it, so I started an account. And I was posting real short TikToks, whatever you want to call it pretty pretty regular there for a little while three or four months and and i don't understand it i don't know how to make money with it didn't care to even look into it but i, 
I guess I should have hung on to, but I deleted the whole account, videos and all. all right. Yeah. All right. Way back then, you know, like four months maybe into it. I'm just like, God, it's just one more thing I got to do, you know? Yeah, big money's in uh, going, uh, doing the lives. But you got to have, what? what is it, a thousand subscribers yep. before yep. you do that? Uh, One thousand followers, yep. Hell, I was That's why I was just going to ask, Nigel. Didn't they, whatever, I thought the government actually stopped TikTok. But I guess not. Well, they banned it, but uh, I think it goes into effect in September, I think. Oh, okay. I thought this country is going to try to abolish TikTok in this country. Any more word on that? That's what I was just asking. Simon say he thinks it doesn't go into effect till September. Oh, but they are going to do it? Yeah, they passed a the law on, uh, I think it was last week. Okay. So I'm, I need not even consider TikTok at this point. It won't right. last. Yeah. I mean. I've got videos that go out daily on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Actually, it's on Facebook, but they send it straight to my Instagram. Then I got YouTube. That's enough, man. I just can't handle no more. It's too much crap to keep up with. Well, yeah, you lost your right hand man, you know. So now it's all on you. Oh, Derek, yeah, yeah, yeah but he's oh, way better off. Yeah. He, He's got a trade and a job right now that I was just so glad to see him finally get something, you know. I saw a picture of him, like a people you may know, uh, was Derek, and I guess his wife, but he was clean shaved in that picture. How long ago? Last this week, I saw the picture, the thing came up. Well, if he it could have been an old picture, but he was clean shaved. And the girl on his arm, which I assume was his wife now, maybe wife, I don't know. Was she redheaded? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He might have shaved, but he came over here to run that wire across the attic, and he had, he had that full beard when he come over here. Well, it could have been an old, old profile picture or something like that. Yeah, it could have been. I can't even, yeah, I can't see him cutting that beard off. He likes hair on his face like I do. When you get that old double chin going on, this is a yeah. hide it, man. <laughs> Can't nobody see it. But it's there. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst thing is the waddler. That's worse than double chin. The waddler's terrible. Anyway, I have this. I got one up under here somewhere. <laughs> this is why it's so long. Oh, uh, the shit we talk about. <laughs> Shoot. Should we talk oh, about it on Discord? <laughs> yeah. I, see, man, I see myself in this camera and it aggravates me. When my beard gets about this stage, I mean, coming over this way, it looks uneven. I, right. You know what I'm saying? But it depends on which way I've shoved the hair. So it's like that's usually why I end up trimming it short again. Because when it's short, I don't have to do nothing, but I'm going to let it grow. I like to, I've said this before, but I can see it getting down about right here. Just, you know, we'll see. You let it grow out that much? I might. Why not? Pull yeah. a leprechaun or something. Leprechaun's got a full beard. Though. Yeah. That's mainly what grows on him is this part. That's why yeah, I'm waiting for, for, for this to fall out, you know. I've never had it much longer than this, but I'm thinking about doing it. Just let it grow. That's what it well, looks like. It really falls out. Fills out wide, you know, on the jawbone. On the yeah. top, you get real wide up here. Yeah. Depend on which way I brush it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're grooming on a love. Primping. I'm about out of my lit shampoo. Where's Eric get when you need him? <laughs> I've been out forever. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to talk about the hair on top. That's, <laughs> that's been gone. I did get trained to cut it real short yesterday. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. Yeah, I just, good Lord. My hair gets a sticking out and just keep it short. 
would you like to go back to like when you were 19 years old, but have the knowledge you have today from living to be this old? Mm-hmm. Man, could have made a lot better life. Yep. <laughs> If I knew you really I could, you know, you really could make different yeah. changes or different decisions that, you know, that impacted your, your life, you know. Oh, God, big time. I got more info from that train wreck on TikTok than my local news. <laughs> I believe that. I just like the weather the other day when it got so bad. One in there, there was nothing on TV at first. It eventually did. They switched over weather and it stayed on for hours. But I'm sitting there watching Ron Hall. Do y'all watch him on YouTube? He's like the uh, best weatherman on YouTube. Yeah. Guggen and uh, Randy were steadily filling up updates. And I was just relaying what I was reading from them. They're posting on Discord. And I would relay it to you and find out, you know, like if you were there, you know, living it. Yeah. It was like, you know, is this fact? But um, then you start talking about Trina going to work, and I was like, man, why? Well, <laughs> like always, we're right on the water here. I mean, we're we're only like two miles inland. And most of these, I'm not going to say all the time, we have had tornadoes. I had one last year right down the road. But most of them go just north of us, and that's where all this went, just north. It just skirts by us, you know, so I worry about hurricanes more than I do tornadoes. Well, I just visualize, you know, she just, well, I just she think she, she has a big heart. Uh, that's yeah. my personal opinion of her. I don't know her, but my yeah. opinion of her just knowing, seeing her and hearing things that's happened to her and things she's done of her life and career. She has yeah. a huge heart. So I was thinking, you know, she's just doing that. So there could be a place for someone to get water, get milk, should all the power go out, you know, she's going to have that store open and she's going to help people. Yeah, she did. And I told her, I went in there, I said, you know, either you need to call in, tell them you're not going to be able to make it or you need to leave early. And she left two hours early and went in early just so she could avoid the really bad stuff. And it did. It got bl it, it got real blustery, windy, and just sheets of rain and all that. But that's as bad as it got. You know, next thing I know, it was over. It didn't last long. Just right on through here. Mm -hmm. Then I was worried about Derek. You know, he's over in Mobile, and they're further north than we are, kind of northeast, I reckon you'd say. And tornadoes do hit that area. But he was at work. And uh, everything was fine. Then Chad, he was at the shipyard. I said, did you tie anything down? I said, they're expecting 60, 70 mile an hour winds ripping through here. He goes, no, I didn't. That's, that's, that's a good thought like that. And he didn't leave. He did leave early, but he didn't leave when all the bad crap was coming through here. He waited to afterwards. <laughs> then he left like an hour earlier or something. I'm like, you didn't miss all the bad stuff. I watched, I got hooked up and, you know, as everybody knows, I've been doing this train stuff lately. Well, I sort of kind of expanded my views into train hobos. And uh, <laughs> one of them uh, just recently passed away. They found him dead in a river near his home. Uh, it's called uh, shoestring, hobo shoestring. Well, he had a, uh, a video he put out. It was about, I don't know, I'll say less than six months old. And he, uh, it was during the winter time and he wanted to sort of kind of treat himself. So he got on a cruise ship and I want to say it was, a, yeah, it was Alaska. The title is called Buoyancy Sh uh, Shoestring or something like that. And he started talking about how you know, he was just about, there was hardly anybody on this cruise ship. He, you know, it was like, he, it looked like he had the thing to himself and um he was just talking about how much he was really enjoying this and he had a warm room it was keeping him out of the cold elements you know being on sitting standing on the side of a train track well this guy i mean he the man's very intelligent and he was on this cruise ship and he was looking at the otter swimming around he was talking about how this was probably the uh one of the best times he's had in his life in a long time 
And he started talking about this ship. And it was made in a, um, he said it was made in a, um, a shipyard in, what did he say, Biloxi, Mississippi or something like that? And I was like, no way, not Biloxi. Um, Probably. What did he say? It was a it was a shipyard in Mississippi oh, that Pascagoula. made this Pascagoula that That's made this uh, this ship, this cruise ship. Okay, yeah, we built cruise ship there. Yep, long time you, ago. Yeah, it's called it's called uh, Shoest, Hobo Shoestring or Shoestring Hobo, and it's titled something buoyancy. It's a it's a pretty good video, and. Yeah. Um, and he talked about this ship. He knew all the history on it. Huh. That's how that guy was. He just, he could, um, no, it was called, uh, it was shoot, uh, shoestring hobo. I think it was, uh, Nigel. And, um, they, he went missing and the guy's like, just, he could tell you, he could look at a train and this guy can tell you where it's going, where it came from just by the loads that are on the train. And he was talking about, you know, he named some of these cars like the uh, the Cadillac um, grain hauler or whatever because it was a Cadillac because it had a comfortable space that you could hide and get out of view from people, you know, and um, just all kinds of stuff. The guy was full of knowledge, and um, uh, I, he just he went disappearing, and they're actually saying he's in Tennessee, and he yeah. went back to his sister's place, and they. Um, they're actually investigating it, and it sounds like they think that I'm from the one I saw last video. I saw uh, what's up, uh, chef. The last video I saw, I was thinking that it was, uh, it sounded like they, they may be looking at it as a crime, uh, because now they're asking for anybody that has any video from the uh, homes that are on that river if they could, you know, check them out and uh, you know, and see if there's any footage that could be useful to them. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna hop off. I'm I'm done. <laughs> All right, Simon. Appreciate you, buddy. Yes, sir. See you later. <coughs> there, Simon. Good night, everybody. Yeah, I was reading something up here. Uh, Leprechaun. So a lot of Americans are anti TikTok. Yeah, actually, there is. I read something here. It's been a while back, maybe a year ago, and they were talking about how the Chinese were trying to develop mind control, you know, like control people. And then somebody commented, yeah, it's called TikTok, you know. But if you think about it, people, and I, I fell into this. When I first started, I was sitting there just thumbing through all these videos, something I never do, like shorts and stuff but on tiktok and next thing i know man like two hours done pass like oh crap i was going down a rabbit hole you know and mm -hmm. it's just like no i ain't doing this crap but uh, i think that why they're wanting to get rid of it because of just the nature of it the way it just hypnotizes people and it just subliminal i think that's what's hurt you to be honest with you with people's attention span people used to sit there and watch a YouTube video that could last 20 minutes and never skip through it or anything. Nowadays, you're lucky to get any view retention because people want short content. It's like, give it to me. Yeah. Wait, it's too long. Skip through. You know, yeah. it's, Jesus, relax. Take a chill pill. That's gone now, you know? Yeah, I, I have gotten wrapped up in some shorts. I'll click on a, the shorts thing so you're seeing shorts only and there's some, you know, there's some good stuff on there. I was like, man, if I could just dance, you know, maybe yeah. get a get some fake boobs and a bra and know how to dance, I'd, yeah, I get my channel jump. No, I can't stand shorts because you can't get nothing out of it. And I have done them, and I still drop them occasionally, but it's just to entice people, maybe, possibly to click because you can link them now on the video itself the main content some guy right. commented the other day goes what was it what something i did a short on I said well what's the recipe for this i said go to the long form video and you'll find the recipe and that was yeah. 
okay, thanks. You know, you got yeah. watch the full video. This is just a a teaser. It, that's what I use them for. But does yeah. it work? Not really. You might have a few that actually go watch the full video. You know. Yeah. Uh, the lep is right man some of them girls on these shorts just blow you away it's like damn oh, they get tons and tons of views man i'm guilty yeah. i click on them they're in my feed you click on one yeah. or two next thing you know they're feeding you all these women videos you know and they're beginning. this one now it's it's always pops up my feed she molds clay and she's She's got erect nipples from the beginning, and she's got this thing of clay. She slaps on the ground or the table, a turntable, and she's like pulls it up to, to a, a phallic shape, and then she'll crush it, crush it down, you know, and she'll smile and she'll do it again. I was like, damn, this girl, and she's she's another one, you know, five hundred thousand views, crazy yeah. stuff. There's all kinds of man. I look at the view count before I ever click on like, holy crap, man. It's like, this is what shorts was made for because you know how you got to have so many views before you can really make anything to speak of. They're making money off of them, you know, makes, makes a penis. <laughs> yeah. That, that's the one. That's the one, Jeff. Like yeah, there's some really lame stuff with just, my God, yeah. just extreme views it's like god what is wrong with people but i'm guilty I, i've looked i don't look at much of it but i click on something every now and then if she looks hot enough you can use music on tiktok so that helps with the audience that's why they that's are right. trying Bang. to ban music on tiktok now they're trying to ban it because that was one of the Things I thought everybody liked because you could play whatever you wanted away with music. It could be the artist complaining about it because they'll let you play up to like a minute of it, I think. <laughs> he YouTube watches the play. play video too. YouTube it, would let you play name brand music, but the last time I looked, they only restrict you to 15 seconds of it, you know? Yeah. But that could have changed because now if you use name brand music, you got to share your revenue. So I don't know how that affected shorts. If it did, don't know. Yeah, one company's already stopped the music to be used. I would, you know, that's a lot. Of, I guess money's revenues for them for yeah. these groups and bands. You can't blame them. People just freely using copyrighted content. You can't blame them at all. Well, it's like it, it's like these. You know, they put out a new album and. Everybody once everybody sees it, downloads it, copies it, and everybody's got a copy of it. And you know, it was killing the new the the sales of the new records that they're putting out. Mm -hmm. CDs. Have you seen the young lady on the electric two wheel bike? Oh yes, bumpy road. Bumpy road. Read if you haven't when you're. I think I yeah. have seen that. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen her. I've seen her. Now she's got a friend that dresses just as skimpy. She's been on just about every short that she does here lately. They were on a trampoline bouncing around the other day. But yeah, I've seen that. Randy was talking about some woman on YouTube, and I've seen her. She's kind of an older woman, but don't look too bad. But she got she always wears these short. They're short, but they're bibbed overalls and no shirt up under it. Just these massive boobs, but she's got little sticks for legs, you know. She's oh, yeah, yeah. And wears, she wears bibs. She yeah, wears bibs. bibs. Yeah, all the time. And she's working on something and like she's making a real video and all is about showing them boobs, you know, the yeah. whole video. Yep, I've seen that one. <laughs> now maybe we will see for us. Hey, time. I've done dancing in some of my videos, uh, Clint. You remember that, don't you, Lance? It's a few of them, me and Derek was dancing. Yeah. Here at the end of there was one of them I was dancing. It was a uh, macarena. Was yeah. I did some sort of Mexican dish, and at the end of it, I had some Mexican music. I actually had it played on my phone to where we could stay and beat. Then I used that song. 
on the video itself, but you know, better copy of it. And uh, right there at the end, I act like I stumbled and tripped. Somebody asked me, Did you really trip? I'm like, No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't done that in a while. We kind of went through a little phase there, yeah. The ones with the two wheelers, that's that's another one, it's all over shorts. The clay girl, she's like popping up all over the place now I'm trying to think of some of the other ones <laughs> yeah it is uh, nbl yeah, Shit, now we're almost at five hours. Yeah, <laughs> comes Rob. Rob must not been able to sleep. Either that or he's an early riser, very early riser. I won't be rising early tomorrow. I got the bulk of this video done. That was my only thing I had to do today. And I drank three cups of coffee, even dreading getting started. And finally, I did. And I sit there the whole time until I jumped on this love. And I, was, I still wasn't quite finished, but. No, I already told my wife, I said, call me back. Call me up when you get back to work. Make sure I wake up. Cause I got I'm supposed to go do some drywall work. I got chef's got a item he's been waiting for. And with the, that medication just took me out today. And I just didn't get it done today. And I told him I would, but I'm going to get it done tomorrow for sure. Got nothing to do tomorrow. I didn't take the meds today, so. Oh, I should be good. I need to take my aspirin. My 80 milligram I take every day. The doctor told me to quit taking these after I had that bleed that time. I did for a while. But I should have listened to Tom. The keto cook guy. He told me stay away from these statins. Should have done it. Stay away from what? And statins. Mm. Pop up another beer. Now nah, I'm going to be done. I got one left after this. Damn it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this video or try to finish it. I forgot to mention one thing, but I'm doing all voiceover, so that's no big deal. The one thing I forgot is about the warranty on that eight year limited warranty or one year full warranty it's pretty good eight years on the burners yeah they are stainless ain't much can happen to it you know what i'm saying they heat up and glow red but they don't rot out like that bimetal crap does you know you shall see but no, I should have something new on my other channel. Maybe by the end of the week. I don't know. Depends on when I can get that argon. Even though I bought and paid for that weld machine, I'm still going to do a review on it. You know? Yeah. We always come and get his moment of fame. He's trying to tell me it's his pee break. 12 o'clock is his pee break. He won't go again about, about 4.30 in the morning. I ought to look and see if they got an affiliate program before I do that. Sign up for that. I know what I can do. I can link because I, I bought it through Amazon. I didn't order it straight in front of the company. And uh, I'll definitely put an Amazon link. Three or 3,000. Powertrain? Three year, three thousand or thirty thousand power train. What is he talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about, Troy? Thirty thousand power train. Three year, thirty thousand power train. I guess he's talking about the warranty on something. Yeah, he Call does. Clint. You all see when my wife comes out here. Man, it's like you don't even know me when my wife comes out here. Three year, 
30,000. Usually it's that's like a three car or 30,000, whichever comes yeah. first. That's a vehicle. You were saying something about the warranty on a you're talking about the warranty on the grill. I thought oh, on the, on the another, failed joke. Yeah. <laughs> another failed joke. I never seen myself doing a monument video, but here we are. Yeah. I waited a couple of years. Yeah, I don't, I don't know him. Who is this guy? She's the one who feeds him all the good food. Gets him a treat. I oh, give him the milk, I give him the milk bones. <laughs> now I'm laughing. Okay. Yeah, that weld machine has a three year warranty. And uh you don't have to they pay for shipping either way. you can't beat that, and that's full warranty. For three years, that speaks well of the machine itself, I guess. Both big brands, you know, that's what big brands offer. Those machines cost thousands of dollars. And you're saying they pay shipping both directions? Yeah, both directions. I called them because, you know, usually when you buy something, you have a warranty card in there. Yeah the website and all that and so i called him i said look i, I know y'all got a good warranty and all. i said but i don't see a warranty card or he goes all you got to do is uh you know the day you bought it you know like that so i went back to amazon and i printed everything i could get off of amazon i put it with the paperwork that came with the machine that way if i did have to ever call them but man i've watched so many videos and everybody just says their customer support is unlike any seven days a week toll free number you'll get somebody on the phone no answer machine or none of that crap you know yeah and uh the people that did have any issues they sent them something right out to correct it like fast i said that's who i'm going with same here, Simon. My wife, matter of fact, she asked me if I can get out tomorrow before Tuesday because they got bags of leg quarters on sale for dollar a pound, I think it is. And she cooks that stuff, slow cooks chicken every weekend, and she feeds him chicken. No bones. She picks it all off the bone and feeds his dog chicken. And he gets a beef jerky treat from her, and all I got left is a milk bone. So, yeah, when she comes to that door, he's all, like, just if he's all over me, he just jumps up and goes right after her. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I look at it, Rob. I mean, they have been asking me for the last, as long as they've been around, they've been periodically sending me an e email. And I always tell them, tell them I'm not interested. This time, I'm like, hmm. So I laid a price. I said, I can do it for this amount of money. Mm. This is like two days and the email back says, Can you can you send me some links, some examples where you have reviewed grills? I sent them five five different links and said, I got more if you need them. <laughs> like that. And then the next email was a contract to sign. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, right. That's right up what he's I ain't gonna say that because it's. I don't know if you want it to be said, Russ. What's that? I said Nigel. He's like pretty much made a oh, statement yeah. here, and I didn't want to go into your video, but no, it works very well. I agree, man. I did that rotisserie chicken on there, and everything was offset to each side of that chicken. It was getting heat from both sides, and it was it was golden, perfect. You know. Really wouldn't even know char on it. It was just a it looked like a rotisserie chicken you'd get at Walmart or somewhere that sells them that does them in the deli. It looks just like that. Yeah. I was real happy with it. And that's your next video. Yeah, that's my next video. I'm I'm it's totally different the whole approach. I'm, I'm kind of doing a ricer. Thing, but not as good as what he does, I know. But 
it, it'll be good enough. You know, I hate I hate voiceovers. I'm a lot more relaxed saying what I mean to say while I'm there at the grill. But I shot all this footage. Then I just some of it I did real time. The rest of it is me sitting at this computer. Yeah, doing it. But I think it's all right. It'll be all right. Good enough. Yeah. Yeah, Rob, you're going to have to give us some time, buddy. I'm the same way. I'm the same boat. I've gotten a few things sent to me. But, you know, you got to give us some time. I don't, even, I don't even believe he's up to 500 subs yet. I think he's in the threes, maybe, Rob. But once you start getting, I mean, you can, well, ask Russ. I'm just repeat what Russ told me. You know, you got to build your channel up. You do. They got to see some come. merit. Before they give you anything, they got to know that you can bring in a certain level of views for it to be worth their money, you know, to send you anything. And once you reach that, then next thing you know, you're getting reached out to all by all kind of people. Yeah. You know? One way you could probably even help yourself there, Rob, is you're saying you're pushing the hell out of them. You know, maybe even send them the links to those videos where you're pushing pit boss and maybe the right person will see it one time, you know, 155. No, it just takes time, dude. It just takes time, but you could do that. You could put, you could send your links to them to pit boss and maybe the right person will see it once, you know, there you go. Jeff says it takes time and lots of patience get a couple of videos that get views and you will get sick of saying no. That's a fact. I get, I get, and I know Jeff does too. We get the same emails. Most times you get reached out to by all kinds of people. And I would say 99% of the time it's no, no, or, or nothing. I just don't reply back unless they're very, very persistent. We're just reaching back to you on a previous email and I just, right now i said look i'm not interested but thank you for uh considering me you know like that okay thank you and that's the end of it i'm I'm nice about it it's just but most of them i just don't reply back and that's the last you ever hear from them you know yeah. and it's it's all it's most of it's not even cooking related yeah you know, it, it could be all kind of things it's like no i'm not doing that thank you um uh, Quinn, I was waiting for uh, our and Troy too. I was waiting for uh, Russ to finish his talk to have uh, Rob put 805 in the comment, but Troy and um, NBL and Quint got it. If you got the mindset, once you get your channel up to where people are reaching out, you just keep this mindset that they need you, you don't need them. Because you already own smokers and grills to carry on making your content. But if you get sizable enough and they want to send you stuff, charge them. Charge them money. The heck with a free smoker. Tell them you, and I'm talking about you got to get your channel up to that level. You know, they just laugh at you otherwise. But you got, you, you gain value in your channel as you go. The bigger you get, the more your channel is worth to people wanting you you know, want to sponsor a video and yeah. you base your charge on that. I know what I'm worth. And I know what I'm not worth. I don't rape them or anything like that when it comes to pricing, you know, but it, it's going to be what I consider fair. Plus you're getting a pit and you can turn around and sell it, you know, and a little icing on the cake unless yeah. you want, it, unless you want to keep it. I was showing my buddy, he come by yesterday and, uh, I'm sitting there looking at the back of my garage. There's the pits and spits, an old hickory, and a pro smoker. All three of them are built in the U.S. of A. All of them. One's in Missouri, one's in Wisconsin, and one's in Houston, Texas. And I do not own a Chinese pit other than this monument, which, like I said, once I'm done with it, I'm selling that too. Nothing against the pit. It's just I'm not that big in the gas grills. That's just me. I never have been. It is handy. I did enjoy cooking on it and it makes some fantastic steaks, but still in all, I don't have room for it and I'll let it go, you know, and try to make a five, six hundred dollars off of it while it's still brand new, you know. Right. But it wouldn't be the first time. I have owned all kind of pits as you well know, but 
Uh, you can get a rotisserie on this new Weber searwood, yeah. and I think that might be the first lower price pellet grill with that feature. Huh. What yeah. what is it? A Weber searwood? I haven't That's heard of that. That's that new Weber that uh Reicher and the boys are putting together. Okay. That must be for smoke barbecue source. Convenient fire escape barbecue. But uh man, Jeff, he has an opportunity to try all these pits out with that big he's got going on. Yeah, I could I I couldn't even imagine or couldn't even guess at how many pits he's done reviews on. I can't imagine how many not only does he currently have, but how many he's sold over the last three or four years. Holy crap. Yeah. They just keep rolling through, man. I had some guy comment. I posted uh, something on Facebook yesterday. Yeah, it was that new grill. And some guy that... I ain't going to talk about the guy, but anyway, he says, well, he was being a little derogatory. Like, well, just how many different grills and smokers does any one person need like that, you know? And uh, I said, well, I said, so, you know, this is the only gas grill I own. I said, but to answer your question, you can never have too many. And then right up on there, I said, especially if you have a barbecue cooking channel. It's, you know, it's all about that, really. It's not just about the cooking. It's about pits. It's about grills. You know, it's about all of that. You know, shut up. Anyway, he come back in there. I read it this morning. He was laughing. Like, yeah, I'm sorry, man. You know, blah, blah, blah. I didn't comment back. Whatever. Just crawl back in your hole. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Talking to the wrong dude, man. All YouTubers are grill sluts, man. We get as many as we can, you know. Firescape used barbecue used to cook on a fire escape in new york city he moved to the fire escape barbecue i've heard of that before. Had the channel a good guy recommended he was on cj's hot seat i've heard of that name fire escape, fire barbecue. escape barbecue where you at mbl all right so i'll wait for your reviews just in case you got some confidentiality thing with them Jeff <laughs> fire escape barbecue oh man Yep. One thing about it, though, YouTube, it used to be funner for me when I like when I first started and everything. But man, when when you do start getting pits and things like that, it just really puts a smile on your face. But I remember my very first Kamado was a, a Kamado Joe Classic, and I actually won that in a contest on on YouTube, and I I won first place. And I won all kind of stuff, but the grand prize of that was a uh, Kamado Joe Classic, and I made tons of videos with that that pit. Then, before you know it, I got reached out to by other Kamado people, and I had them pits. And just I don't even own a Kamado no more. All I have done so far is assemble, born off. Oh, burn off and talk about the feature difference from the smoke fire. Those pellet grill, another one through Weber. He just got it Thursday. Yeah, sorry, Russ. I didn't catch up with the chat. I'm trying to find. I don't see. I see a fire escape grilling. I don't see a fire escape barbecue. I've heard of that before. Fire escape barbecue. I want to say I heard of it like on a cooking channel or something not youtube but maybe i'm wrong turn off and talk 
Got the feature differences between the two. Let's try it Thursday. Gall uh, it was Gallagher's Grub, but now it's Firescape. Oh, yeah, Firescape nice. is now. I think, you know, I think I saw that damn Gallagher's Grub. Gallagher's Grub on YouTube. Okay. Uh, yeah, Weber's first attempt at a pellet grill. Boy, they got some bad reviews on that smoke fire, and then I think they tweaked it or whatever, and People seem to like it fine now. I went 23,300 23, subs. Six years ago, video got 193,000 views. Yeah, I knew you had it, Troy. You got you got the newer version, I'm assuming. All I heard about was like uh, a couple of channels talking about the grease fires and things with the first release of it. I think Jeff has had a smoke fire too that he did a review on. Matter of fact, I know he did. MBL's link will probably work where mine doesn't, I'm sure. This looks better. Yeah, by the time they got. Yeah, by the time they got to the stealth, it really ran good. But now the smoke fire is going to be history. The searwood, searwood will replace it. Okay. Yeah, the first one worked. I remember uh, Baby Back Maniac. That was the first review I watched, and he had walked away or something and come back, and that thing had a grease fire. Then Mike Nackby turned around and did one. I know one thing. Both of them videos got a ton of views because they had just released that video. That was a smart move to release those when they did, but regardless... It kind of put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth, and then they come back, I guess, to revise it somehow. It had the the sear, what do they call that, flavor bars, kind of like a gas grill, and allowed grease to kind of get in there around that fire pot. Boom, grease fire. But any pellet grill, I done found this out, any pellet grill can get a grease fire if it's not properly clean to clean, maintain. Right, if it's not clean. Any grill is going to have a grease fire if you're not cleaning it right. Yep. The only pit I own that I would probably not worry about a grease fire too much is my all set. Because your fire's over here and, you know, which I kept mine clean anyway, but not after each cook. I might, like, you know, go two or three cooks. At some point, you got to scrape all that grease out the bottom of it. The new Weber has one huge flavor bar. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll be curious to see what it looks like or what it does. Not that I'm going to run out and buy one, but Yeah, I, I've heard good things about the smoke fire since that initial release or whatever. So, yeah, everybody likes them. I wouldn't know. Never on one. Just basing it off of videos I've watched. <clears throat> oh. All right, Russ, I think I'm going to cut it short. This dog needs to go out, and I ain't looking to clean up no messes. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and try to sew the rest of this video together. Might have to do another voiceover, but we'll see. But I, I need, I do need to finish that. 
and come up with some sort of crappy thumbnail just long enough for them to watch it, then I'll probably work harder on the thumbnail later when I do release. So, all right, Lance, chat. All right, all right, uh, Rice, we'll see you later. Chat, I want to thank you all again for joining us on another Sunday. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I appreciate your um, your loyalty to the channel on Sundays. Russ, same to you, bro. Every time I yeah, send you a link, every time I send you a link, you're here to show. So uh, yeah. I do appreciate it. I try to. I, I did need to finish that video, but I know it. Even if I had to finish it first thing in the morning, no big deal. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Nigel, good seeing you in here, buddy. I appreciate you hopping in. And thank you for the super chats again. It's mighty nice of you. Definitely appreciate it. Yep. But we're going to go ahead and end this one. I got a dog, a pretty big dog. If he takes a crap, I got a big mess to clean up. So <laughs> I need to get him outside first. All right. We'll take care. Later. All right. Bye-bye.